if a listener of the pod paid, let me not do it without $500 to meet you guys and you had to take a picture with her, but you had to be grabbing her ass and kissing her, would you do it? For how much? Uh, 500 Is there a form of consent? Being signed. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> that is very important. Yes, there is. Like, I can't just take her word, like, hey, I'm going to give you 500 to grab my ass. Like, <laughs> I need there is a form. A, a form of consent. Yes. $500. Yes. Doing it, and she has like full rights to that image forever. <laughs> like she could do whatever she, put on she wants. On a T-shirt. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is a setup question. Nah, it's easy because this answer lives forever. Mm-hmm. I I ain't kissing you. I don't know where your little mouth been. I don't know what, what? the fuck you got up in there. Just not on the mouth. No, I ain't kissing else. you. I can't kiss you. Like on the never cheek. heard a ring. No, on the cheek. On never the cheek. heard a ring. Yeah, I don't know if not I on just. The cheek? Like, Never heard a ring one? Go around and like grab ass, even if it's for five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Oh, like I'm, I'm a selective mm-hmm. ass grabber. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta. <laughs> Not everybody can get that. Yeah, everybody can't just like because Actually, the way I grab ass, like I'm cuffing shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, like scooping, like a full what... palm, or like just the, the fingertips. It's like two scoop ice cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like you just need Wait, two scoops. That, that says exactly what I want to say about the Chris Brown meet and greets. I don't know if you guys have seen it by now, but um, they're going super viral because the poses are insane. But like, I feel like. Because there's so many people doing it, it yeah. kind of like loses its luster. Like so? every everybody gets a picture with Chris Brown. I don't you know? think so. Because I got a sister who's like really, Obsessed really, <laughs> really know, yeah. infatuated with Chris Brown. Yeah. And I think if he grabbed that ass, she would be all right with that. Yo, don't, don't say think, that. But I don't just speak like, for her. I just feel nah, like. I'm, I'm speaking don't for speak her. for her. Nah, shout like, out everybody, <laughs> everybody got that from him. So now I'm just like, oh, okay, like whatever. But like Chris Brown got this thing that he does. And again, yeah. he's been in New York City. So we've been, he's been very visible. And then again, like I said, my sister, she went to his concert. She went to his after party. Like oh, she is oh, present. Oh. She is there. Oh, she was outside. Um. And he has this thing where, and I don't know if it's just my sister or not, yeah. but he is very personable. Like, he he, he makes eye contact. Yeah. So every interaction that he has with a fan, it feels like, real. like it's just between them. Oh, yeah. gosh. He does this. I don't know what he does. It's the R&B guys. It's for eleven for $1,100, man, yeah, yeah. I should be able to do anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So long it comes with consent, of course. So what you going to be doing August uh, 17th, my guy? We're going to have 100 pull up on yeah, you. Yeah, We're going to have... Yeah, um, guys, like you that. heard it here first. We're going to have $500 <laughs> meet and greets for my fellas here at Save On and Alex. Okay. <laughs> they just agreed to it right now. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Even though they didn't. August 17th. <laughs> it is that time of year again. A lot of y'all been asking. A lot of y'all been waiting. It is the Need to Know Podcast Mixer, our annual mm-hmm. mixer. It is the three okay. feet. This is the third year in a row. This is the Bulls. This is the Lakers. Hello. These are the it's dynasty years. Hello. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. yes, the mixer. Y'all yeah. know about it. Come yeah. vibe with us. Come dance with us. It's a rooftop. It's a vibe. Enjoy the vibe. Enjoy the views. Mm-hmm. August 17th, you can get all the information from here on out. It'll be linked to our bios. It'll be linked to our YouTube. It'll be linked to Alex's DMs. It'll be linked <laughs> everywhere you need it. I Sorry. heard that if you buy an early word ticket, like as soon as you click submit, you just automatically send a DM to Alex. That's what you heard, right? <laughs> you know the te- Yo, the no, technology crazy. these days. But why I ain't hear that? Because it's going straight to you. <laughs> nah, nah, but the tech is not teching. The tech is teching nah, the nah, DMs. Nah, don't know that. Nah, don't come to my DMs. Don't, don't cheese me, fam. <laughs> nah, don't fuck. cheese me, fam. Jeez, listen, y'all can definitely come to the mixer. <laughs> we, are, we are awaiting you all. Um, definitely gonna have a good time. You can meet somebody in there. I don't know if you guys are single. I don't mm. know if you guys are not single. Mm. Come find your lover. I mean, Come y'all know how I feel. Look. That is definitely how we're marketing this thing, and we're not lying because we have a very successful success rate yeah. with people actually falling in love. We literally know a couple that met at the mixer, yeah. and they're happy today. They just did a hard launch uh, mm-hmm. like last month. Come on, Come happier on. than ever. I know a couple. Mm. I know some flings. I know some breakups. So I'm trying to say. Oh. So we're going to give you a little bit of everything out the need to know. Mixer. Come yes. vibe with us. Diversity. Uh, open bar. Come on I now. Mm-hmm. Do we, do I want to miss that. a little bit of that. <laughs> Reggie, I know that's your favorite A. That is my... <laughs> I was like, guys, we're making it happen. Even if we're paying out of pocket and we're at a loss. So we are paying out of pocket. I feel like this. that's the biggest draw. Like, even, sure but I'm so proud of myself because last year I didn't drink that much at all. Like, I, I remember everything. So it's not like I'm going to be taking advantage of the open bar, but you, it's for you guys. Please. I'm fighting for you guys, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was for me last Please, year. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it was for me last year. Yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. even front. There was, that, there was one point I looked at the bar and said one was behind the bar serving drinks. <laughs> Like, why? I, was like, Wait, what the I was trying to speed up their service <laughs> yes. so I could get what yeah, I needed. I remember that shit, actually. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, bro, we could do that? He like, we put the quality know. right. I'm like, what? See how much we care yeah. about you guys and having a good time? Why wouldn't you want to come? Absolutely. See, I'm one of those people. 
if I pay for something, I expect immaculate service. Like Chris Brown meeting me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I understand the ladies who want to get their ass groped. <laughs> like, oh consensually, I get it. Well, they pay for it, so yeah, they, do, they, they do want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we are providing the vibes and the views and a, an amazing environment for people to turn up and people are waiting for their drinks, like, the drinks is, is, is dictates the party a lot of the time. Come on, if the bar is Definitely. out the fucking door, mm-hmm. nobody's mingling. Everybody's just trying to get their drinks. So I take it upon myself. Oh I'm a man God, of the people. Like, I'm a man like, of funny. the people. Let me get behind the <laughs> bar and I'm going to speed this thing up. So I can get my drink. The ladies can get their drinks. Wait. The fellas can go get the drinks that they got for the ladies. And it was free. It was open bar. So please, on, again, man. mark the date on your calendars. That is August 17th. There's a ton of time. And outside of just drinking and turning up and having a really good time, you also get a chance to connect with us, pick our brains mm-hmm. a little bit, um, and meet like-minded people. I-, I can say one thing about our mixer. Um, it brings out a, a beautiful group, collective, a mm-hmm. lot of like-minded folks, Thanks. a lot of people who want to be in this space, a lot of our peers, right? Mm-hmm. Some of your favorite podcasters be in the building. I keep mm-hmm. trying to tell people, we are your favorite podcasters' favorite podcast, <laughs> all right? Hello. If y'all haven't they seen the last fucking year of who's been on this pod and mm-hmm. who's supporting this Hello. pod, it's saying something. So please, yeah, again, do not miss out. And also, the tickets do go up. Yep. So get the early bird tickets right now. Yeah, right this, now. it's a good deal for what we were getting, guys. Yep. And also, I would like to just say this and hold myself accountable. I have two months from this day to learn how to do a backflip. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why, are you, why are you prepping that? I don't, I don't know why I just <laughs> why said it. I don't know why I said it. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know. I have no reasoning so why I said it. it but I kept, I kept saying it on my story, and I just have to go with it. <laughs> it makes sense because, like, I, Reggie, um, Reggie's been in the gym a lot more, I've seen. Thank you so, for noticing my athletic friend. I ain't gonna lie. If you learn how to do that shit, I might have to learn how to do like the centipede or some shit. Like, I don't know. Like, I gotta, what is that? I don't know. What, what is, is the centipede? I don't know. Show us. <laughs> you just no, like, don't know. I watched a fight this weekend and when he did the backflip off oh, of the thing Javante? in Chrome, Horde, Chrome Hearts shorts, yeah. I just saw myself. <laughs> And I just like I just I could myself. do it. I could do it. This is I blame my parents because they raised me with such confidence. Like I like why can't I learn how to do it? You saw yourself in Tank you Davis. Can. Okay. I believe you can. Thanks, guys. So if you want to see me do a backflip off the stage, come uh the link is in our bio, come yeah. to our mixer. And if y'all come in with couples, man, listen. If you do wanna meet Reggie. Oh my God! Stop! Don't you do feel that. me? Like, <laughs> let him have his moment. No, 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 no! If, I don't like that. No, no, because uh-huh. we can meet. Why mm-hmm. can't we meet together? Like the man and the yeah, woman. Yeah, but sometimes but people he, have their favorites. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. As a woman, as a girl's girl, I'm not. I don't like that because it's like. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, let me just meet your Alex, man alone. Like, Alex, no, Alex, mm-hmm. Alex, I see where you was taking us. So we're taking? Nah, keep going. Listen, man. If your girl wanna okay, meet, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Girl... I stepped on his joke again. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if, your, see you. if your girl wanna meet Savon, oh, let her do it. If she want her to, his meet... voice got so low. Yeah, he got low. He saw the octave; it changed. If let you her want, do it. listen. If your girl wanna meet me, <laughs> let her do it. All right. Don't be these angry boyfriends from the uh, Chris Brown meet and greets. I don't know if you guys have heard or not. I, have, I did see I that. Before we get into yeah, it, though, let's tell yeah. people who we are. Oh, for sure. It is oh, the Need to Know podcast. Sure. I go by the name Savon, S-A-V-O. And you feel what I'm saying? You do You did. What? Yo, y'all got to like, <laughs> fuck with it at least. Yo, no, bro. you don't have to say nah, what confidence, Savon. I just got to adapt. Nah, right. No, you like stutter a little bit. Reset, I did reset. my fault. It's your guy. Get it. S to the A-V. <laughs> okay. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, S to the AV. I mean, yeah. like, you know when you get in the booth and you got two different flows? You know what I'm saying? Like, S to the AV. Said, Yo, fuck y'all, man. What the fuck are y'all? How about that? Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy A, as always. The Paco Ramon Poppy. Never alone, always with the posse. Hello, everybody. It's Black... No, no, no. Wait, huh? I was going to say backflip. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. If we want to call it Black History Month, I'm done. Oh, okay. Shout out to Black History Month. Shout out to Pride Month. It's backflip reg. Backflip red, backflip red, red, red. I still can't say it. See, I'm not gonna. The thing with you, Reggie, karma always hits you like in the moment. How is that karma? Because you were talking about me stuttering, then you called yourself black. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I'm sorry, guys. I, I take it back. I take it back. It oh, okay. Well, well, we found I out. just really need to have myself up to do this. So I ain't mad. I'm not mad at that. Uh, but we were talking about Chris Brown. We were talking yeah. about jealous boyfriends. I know the meet and greets and everything. Yeah. Alex, you was trying to piggyback off of if if any of our listeners, any of our supporters want to yeah. come in and want to tap in with us, fellas, 
Leave the anger at home. Yeah, it, it, it's not gonna serve you well in this environment. We it's also do got like some real thorough people that are there that really care about us in mm-hmm. attendance. Mm-hmm. So like, leave that energy alone. Like, I want to read um, a, a Chris Brown review mm. okay. from a disgruntled uh, from a disgruntled ex boyfriend. Okay, is I'm this gonna on put this on the YouTube, huh? Twitter or yeah, what this is, is this? this is some dude that broke up with his girl. Okay, right. I, I don't know where he's put it at, but this mm-hmm. is from Jared J Sims. He says, and again, you guys can see the photo on YouTube. We'll show the photo. So Chris Brown is currently <laughs> cradling this young lady by the ass. That's a nice position. Nice little position if he was okay. having sex. And, oh. and, she, and she's currently grabbing him by the back of the neck. Uh, her boyfriend saw this and says, this was my soon-to-be fiance. I'm heartbroken. Yes, he put exclamation marks behind every sentence. Devastated, exclamation mark. Embarrassed, exclamation mark. And bamboozled, exclamation mark. <laughs> Once I've seen this photo and seen how viral it's gotten with the insensitive, supportive comments, I ended the engagement immediately. This guy just lost his queen. Do you know how hard it is to find someone you want to spend the rest of your life with? Very Hold on tough. one second. He gave up his queen. Come okay, on. Okay, but man. he said he's embarrassed. <laughs> yes. But, like, I feel like... I Let understand me. he's probably hurt, but it's like, I feel like him posting that comment... Yeah. That made it go more viral and just made you more embarrassed. That's why we're giving this PSA for the people coming to the Need like, to Know take Mixer. The, take the L in peace. Yes. Like, I'm glad what? you mentioned that. But is it really an L? It's, it's not, Chris Brown. Yeah. Like, is, I don't know. Is if, it really an L? If the no. person that I'm dating, I know we're like joking, but if mm-hmm. the person that I was dating mm-hmm. paid $1,000 to meet somebody else and take a sexy picture <laughs> with them, I, I don't mind that it's like Chris Brown. It could be like if Michael Jackson was alive, like a big star. But it's like just the idea of that. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, that's so deep. I don't know. I, no, mm, for something like different. that. For something like that, you gotta. If you are gonna do that, uh, spend a thousand on me next time. Or make, make make it two thousand just to <laughs> even the shit out. It's not about I mean? you, like, bro. Can you sing like Chris Brown? Can you dance? I like could Chris try Brown? in the bathroom, you, in the shower. You yeah, could you try. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he's doing. So what? See the difference? I don't mean nothing. I'm <laughs> like, me. <laughs> like I get it. Like we all like go hard for the people we love, and we you know we have a different level of care. But listen, don't be these niggas, bro. You have to know if your girl want to go meet one of these celebrities. And again, just meeting. Meet and greet is very different from you know, we was in the club. Mm-hmm. He was she was in his section. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, we know what this is about. They're going to take the picture. They're going to walk away. Yeah. Don't be this nigga, bro. All right. Shit is bad. I don't want you guys. I don't want y'all punching me at the mixer. I'm going to be lit. <laughs> I'm going to be no, real. Honestly, like. We should do an Alex meet and greet. Nah, nah, we nah. Should. We need to know. Need to know meet no, and greet. Uh, no. Need to know. Y'all are very popular. Wait, no, you say mine too. Yeah, no, yeah. y'all are very popular. Just A. Nah. Oh, that would yeah. be so fun. <laughs> I think there should be, I think we should do some type of competition, but we'll talk about it. But in regards to this <laughs> conversation with this young lady and, and this guy, um, I think it just speaks to his insecurity. I think it's on full display how men are just fragile. And I don't think I'll be cool with it. <laughs> I would probably have my own. I, I, would, I would feel. Away. I'm not gonna say that for yeah. like, oh no, like yeah. I would feel away. But also, you gotta yeah. understand, like Chris Brown, he's somebody who's been around for like 20 years. A right. lot of his fans, Way before you, they have literally grown up mm-hmm. on him. Like with this is him. a dream. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. your girl met him before you. Uh, in most cases, in most cases, <laughs> and he it. told you your girl wasn't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, he that told you your bitch wasn't loyal. We're Wayne. Like, what are we doing? We're Wayne. So. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. know. I can't. I can't vibe with that one. I can't. You know, I can't vibe with this one. You know, so. I would just love to just call the man insecure and just like that be my opinion. But I'm really trying to think about like if my other half pay like was fiend to meet this celebrity. Like yeah. I don't know how but I, I feel about but that. But I feel like there are certain things when you're in a relationship that your significant other is gonna do that you're just not gonna understand. <laughs> Right, that's like literally part of a relationship. That's for her, they're, oh, they're right? Still, they're still like their own person. Yeah, yeah like yes, they're still yes, their yes, own okay. person. Like I remember I was with this one girl. <laughs> they gonna get mad. Shout out to all the anime people. She was going dumb hard. <laughs> What's wrong with nah. anime? I love anime, yeah, but she was cool. going harder than me. Don't be racist. For what? Like a like meeting someone or no? Just like how seriously she took it. Like she had the costume. She wanted to cosplay with the titties. Mm-hmm. I said, Ooh, I ain't you're, judging, to fuck. you're judging her. No, no, no. I was judging her in that moment. <laughs> for me, I was because I was her man in that moment. But then in hindsight, <laughs> you're like, yo, there's certain like I know I go hard for basketball. Yeah. She's never gonna understand how I feel about uh, LeBron James. She's gonna be like, why? Like, 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 why? So I, these types of moments, man, like that. Your engagement. <laughs> so I gotta go. You called off your engagement. If your man would have announced do, it, uh, a meet and greet to go meet a LeBron James, would you still feel that way? I think okay, it's the energy. I if, yeah. if it was LeBron and he paid to go see him, he paid twenty five hundred, not even a thousand. He paid twenty five hundred to meet <laughs> okay, LeBron that, James. Why? That's life changing. I'm not gonna lie. That's like why? That's 
You, okay, no, no, you okay. been around LeBron James? And? I know, but like, you might could dunk. You want to meet him so bad that like, yes. okay, well, whatever. Okay, that part is fine. <laughs> I think it's the energy once you meet him. If okay. you're like fanning out, like begging for a picture, like that type of energy, I'll be like. Oh. But if you meet him and you like talk to him, tell him how much you admire him, how much you change his li- how much you change your life, like that type of stuff, that's mm-hmm. that's completely fine. So yeah. it's the actual exchange. It's not the I act think it's the of, energy, it's, like the, okay, it's like the happens, desperate energy. Oh, like, so you want them it. to act like sat around <laughs> you and then get there and start jumping up and down. <laughs> like you've been there before. Fanned out. Like. <laughs> Just fanned out. But it's not around you. You don't want your man to be a groupie. <laughs> you don't want your man to be a groupie. Group, you know. But I'm glad because yeah. niggas don't be wanting their girl to be groupies for yeah, sure. No, but like yeah. I said, this is way different. Like yeah, yeah. now, you know, let me think. She could definitely slip her number in his pocket during that meeting. But eat. it's not even just the number. Like mm-hmm. he has friends that's off to the side that's gonna be like, "Hey, you, come, come on, on, let me go. talk to you real quick. Let me get your number real quick. Come what on, we doing girl. after? Like Chris Brown doesn't necessarily have to get her number, yeah. but again, like you can't be mad because an artist, and I'm just using Chris Brown, yeah, for sure, because he's been around for 30 years. You got a lot of new artists where. This is this this is very new. <laughs> this is a little too new. Like this nigga got two hit songs and you ready to suck dicks. Like, roll it back. Hold it's up. not worth it. It's not like that. It's not worth it. it. It's different. With yeah. Chris Brown, he got a catalog. This is a, a catalog. She can get some head to that. This this is different. It's a little bit different. But he's so. a legend. So. Yeah. he's a legend. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, would you guys pay three thousand dollars to meet LeBron James? No. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know how much you love it. Well, you asking us, like, we different. We, I'm a LeBron we gonna fan be in though. these. Wait, you I want to do it. I would make, you do it? Hmm? I, I don't know if I would pay. Wait, that's I, what I'm saying. I, mean, I understand. How much how, would you pay? How much money do I have? Wrong question. <laughs> today, like today. <laughs> yeah, where you at right now? Yeah, you, nah, up, I'm you know what you got. Right now, I'm so too spend a ticket. I'm a worker for real. <laughs> nah, not right now. That, okay, that's what I'm saying. Like dollars. Yeah, to meet him. Yeah. Nah, I could run that nigga at the club then for five hundred. That's what I'm saying. Two fifty. Yeah, nah, too cheap. It got to make sense. Like, like that 1100? Why, 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 yeah. That 1100 yeah. sounds like something. Like Chris you would do it? You would do it? For, for LeBron? Yeah. What I don't you know. know. I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. I, I feel know. like... Okay, I don't the, know. But I don't is that know. not what I'm trying to explain? Like, yeah. why would you pay... Like, I know yeah. how much... I, I know how legendary, life-changing LeBron is, but yeah. why would you pay to meet him as a man? Like, why? How long, how long you man. got with him? How long you got with him? Like, how long they got with Chris Brown? Seven I feel minutes. Like, six minutes. Yeah, I feel like it was like six minutes. Six minutes? For eleven hundred? Yes. Nigga, I'm about to go pay my my bills. You bugging? Nah, you can make that back quick though. That's what I'm saying. Nah, shit, bro. I'm I would do that. Paying my bills with that, nigga. Pierre, please. It's different if you get like, <laughs> all right, cool. Here's eleven hundred. You get a whole afternoon with your face. Yes. You get a whole evening with your face. You get a break. Hey, fuck around, do a brunch with your face. You want to do a date with LeBron for eleven hundred? We could, we could hoop. <laughs> I like that because that's, that's a that's an experience. We could hoop. That's an experience. I'm trying to taste it. We could hoop, and then uh, you know. It's like being on I vacation could, and you yeah. pay for an excursion. Yeah, <laughs> with LeBron James. Hey, yo, an eleven hundred dollar excursion. Like, I ain't excursion now with that nigga. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? I believe in us so much that anybody that we really want to meet, yeah. we are going to be. Oh, for sure. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's, absolutely. Why, that's why this conversation. I'm trying to. I'm trying to relate. <laughs> like, man, it's us. Like, what the fuck? Man, I ain't gotta pay these niggas. Nothing. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. So Reggie, I got a question for you. Yeah. Because you've been pressing my man Alex. You've been pressing Uh-oh. all of the men who want a fanboy over LeBron. You've been pressing. You have been. This is the most judgmental I've ever seen you. Honestly, I've never seen you judge anybody. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen you judge. Am I being judgmental? Because you oh, guys oh, judge for sure. Oh, dude. For what? In my head, when you say, "Why would Yo, you meet somebody for money?" Oh, yeah, translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I stand on it. <laughs> like, that's a translation. I wouldn't say it like that. But... I know, I know. But yeah. translating, like, that's how I heard it. Right. You, yes. my good friend, my dear friend, you have expressed your love, your admiration, and your willingness to support Will Smith at mm. every single turn in his darkest hour. You came here with your cape. In his brightest moments, you shine even brighter. Yeah. Even when he slapped that nigga, you was here strong. I was like, so what? (laughs) Yup. You was here 10 toes. Yup. For the Will Smith meet and greet. Yes. How much would you pay and how would you expect your man to react? I'm not paying to meet Will Smith. No, really? I'm not doing that. No, I'm not nah. doing that. How about J. Cole? Was good. I'm not paying to see J. Cole. I'm I'm not. Like this I swear, good. I know God God knows I'm not lying right now. I'm not. Do you think yeah. it's accessibility? Because I, I'm fans of people, but like we've had this conversation a very long time ago, me and Savon. I don't idolize anyone. Mm-hmm. And because I don't idolize anyone, mm-hmm. I'm okay with whatever happens. I, I'm just like, I love yeah. like their work. I love their music. I love their movies. But I'm not, yeah, I don't idolize them either. I don't even have, I don't have like a celebrity crush. Like I, they're just like, 
people that I really admire their work. Right. I'm not paying to see. I'm not paying to meet Will Smith. Like I'm not. No. Like, did you actually pay to see his movie? At least. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, y'all finally watched. Okay, last episode, okay, you know okay, <laughs> Y'all finally watched it. Y'all caught up. Congrats. Yes. Yeah, I'm here. Some fake ass fans <sighs> sound like <Facts>. me. <laughs> They let that's me a, beat them to the movie theaters. Same. They let me beat them. Alex, you and I saw it the same week, right? Yeah, we saw it the yeah, same yeah. week when it, when it came out. Yeah. Would you guys like a cookie? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Make club. it old man. Welcome to our I club. felt <laughs> so amazing walking out of that theater. <laughs> like, I can't believe you guys watched it and didn't hit the group chat after. Because I didn't want to mess so it up. Wasn't it so amazing? Like, nah, it was fire. Nah, it was very good. Yeah. It was, yes. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. It was very good. I don't want to spoil anything, yeah. so... Okay, I okay. told you I, what I, oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. what'd you like about it Pete no, I, like, I like everything about it <laughs> no no literally I was like what what what, what bad <laughs> thing what bad thing are people saying about it like like I like the fact that they gave Martin that like he, they gave him some funny roles uh, moments I couldn't tell that you know he was a little bit slowed down right um, and overall I just like the storyline I like the action scenes he did a good job both of them did a good job spoiler alert spoiler alert yeah Martin made the movie for me mm-hmm he absolutely made the movie for me. He came up in mm. moments that I did not expect. Mm. He had those yeah. one-liners yeah. in every serious situation. Yeah, yeah. Let, let him praise Martin a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I gotta, that's my Aries brother, you know, so. Yeah, Will Smith is doing shit like having panic attacks. Facts. Hey! Like, like man, like, man up. Get the fuck up, nigga. Like, <laughs> guys, isn't it men's mental, he like, mental oh, health shit, month? It huh? is. My nah, full nah, will. We uh, stop laughing at him. My full will. I, I respect your mental, my bad. Bro. Yeah, he had like panic attacks. Yeah, that nigga was having panic attacks. Bro, no, I, had, I had one of those one time I was driving my uncle home. <laughs> Wait, what? Bro, I, never, I didn't know. Like, I had a panic attack on the road. Wait, what? Yeah. Was you scared of in front of you? Wait, do you don't know. want to talk about it? No, I don't, I don't. Like, watching the movie made me realize that I was having a panic attack. I never like, knew. Because that's what happened. I, yeah, yeah, I never yeah. knew. Like, I, it yeah. felt like life or death trying yeah. to get him from yeah. Long Island to Manhattan. <laughs> Damn. Like, I, yeah. Everything it's was almost just super as if heightened. your like, yeah. mind, like, something glazes over. And like, you don't have like control of like, what is what you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. And you can't stop thinking. Mm-hmm. Like, Do you think it was caused by something or was it random? What? I don't like driving new people in my car. Wait, what? Is that I, what it I, was? I really don't like new people in my car. What is your uncle? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a family member. Like facts. <laughs> Wait, why? You think something's going to happen to He wasn't a baddie. What the fuck? No. Um, <laughs> I think it's crazy. Nah, I have no idea what it was that day. But mm. I think panic attacks, they just happen in a moment. You, you can't yeah. really necessarily plan for them. And I never knew. Like, this movie made me realize that I had a panic attack. How so? Yeah. Because it was something so basic, right? Like. Spoiler Driving. alert, like Alex said, in the movie, mm-hmm. uh, Will Smith, he goes to take a shot. And he act- it was a- two scenes that it happened, right? It was two scenes, I, I believe, where he had two panic attacks. He ain't even had but- a panic attack in the middle of the street. In the middle... <laughs> Wow, oh, about to run over the nigga. While, while uh, bullets were flying in the air and everything. Well, that, flying. Is a, that is a high pressure situation. It yeah. is, but for him, that's a normal. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, we've seen three of these yeah, movies, yeah, yeah. and we know how Will give it up. We know how Mike Lowry give it up. Yeah, yeah. So for him, that's just an everyday thing. And it's like, oh shit, I froze. For me, I drop every day. <laughs> and so for me to freeze up while, like, so yeah, that movie made me realize, oh shit, panic attacks, they're real. And I yeah. had one. Yeah. I had one during a Burner Boy concert. <laughs> Yo, what's up with y'all? Yeah, yeah. Like, you guys are not having panic attacks in high stress this was environments. In, what this the was fuck in is going on? 2021, though. I know exactly what it was, though. It was, in, it was a big concert. I don't know if you remember. It was in Brooklyn and like a park. Yeah, I do. Um, it was in the crowd, but it was because I hadn't been um, in social situations in a long time because of the pandemic. That was one of the first times oh, I, I had a full blown panic attack. I ran out and I had to call John to pick me up. <laughs> So you, you didn't go back? I called him crying, like screaming. Yeah. I was like, I was like, Man, I don't know what's going on with me. And he's like, I'm on my way. Damn. You said fresh out the pandemic? Yeah, well, 2021. So that's like a year oh. into why are you guys laughing at me? But she was like, I've been quarantined for so long. <laughs> Bring me, take me back. I, I, do I think don't even know what it feels like to be around people. I do think that's what it was. I was just so oh, um, like overwhelmed. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. <laughs> No. Alex, you ever had a panic attack? Never me. You think Alex had a panic attack? <laughs> <laughs> no, he ate the one chip challenge and didn't lose a breath. Like. Facts. I yeah. had to ask. The moment I, my brain started overthinking, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm different. <laughs> the moment my brain starts sending messages I don't agree or align with, I shut it down. You shut it down. You just go to sleep. I, I like shut that. it right down. You just fall numb mm-hmm. like, and, and pray. Just mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Shut down. Yeah. Yeah. You ever see our robot when they turn all them niggas down? Yeah. Damn. Like that. I start crying. I never even I never even see Alex nervous. Mm. You get nervous? Oh, dude. <gasps> Do you? Oh, Have dude. we seen you nervous and we didn't no. uh, realize? I don't think I've been nervous around y'all yet. Really? I might have seen it. Yeah. Where? I might have I've seen, seen, seen Zayvon nervous. Name it, name it, name it. I might have seen it. Name it, name it, name it. I'll tell you if you're right. Well, he was working. It was a work environment. I don't know if he was actually nervous. Was there women around? No, the tour. <laughs> oh, I, it wasn't no women around. It was, it was oh, one, of, one oh, of the first shows of the yes. tour. Yeah, one of the first, <laughs> I always had a very big response. Yeah, <laughs> I was nervous for a good thirty-five. How was he? How was he? How was he? It was good, but that's my guy. I've been around yeah. him so long. I knew he I was nervous, yeah. but did he, he didn't show it though? No, you just got to no. smile. No, oh. I, he didn't show it. But smile. again, when you're around for somebody for so long, you kind of know their tendencies, and like he, he he was nervous in that moment. I felt, I felt that he never even told me I was nervous, ah. but I could look. And I could see yeah. <laughs> just how he was reacting. He was I, nervous. I remember, <laughs> I remember a moment that Alex was nervous. You kinda, During our gumbo, uh, his gumbo interview. What I did. Was he? They almost left. because Oh, yeah. Nah, word. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. We he have more shook. thoughts. Episode two. Look, we had gumbo. That's a good weed dispensary company. We love them. They family. Shit. We might have to cut this, but they was like. Damn. I was like, oh, Damn. shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, you yeah, have to like solve it. I said, like, oh, yeah. shit, my brain start pacing like, nah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I got a call. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to them, though. Uh, nah, yeah. it's okay to be nervous sometimes, man. Nah, fuck out of here. You ever oh, had nervous before feeling. you was about to like mm -hmm, go Get, in for the first time? Oh, for sure. Okay. For sure, for sure. That's that why like, I work out before I go in poom. <laughs> Like you break a sweat mm -hmm. before you break the sweat. Blood already flowing. Yeah. Okay, you're not going. That must a be a lot of pressure because it's it has a lot to do with mm -hmm. the guy in the first um, yeah. link up because it's oh, like sure. about his performance a lot. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do recognize yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So absolutely. Shout out to you guys. You never showed though. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's we need a, a whole month for that. What? Of what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, like we need a whole month dedicated to men who just like on the first link, your shit just doesn't cooperate sometimes, bro. Oh, the <laughs> like, that's that sad. shit is so Lindy. bad, bro. Nah, it's bad because you know she's not gonna link you again. <laughs> that shit is nothing you can do. <laughs> My fault if you're going through this right now and what we triggering she's, something. What if she's very understanding. She's never that she understanding about that shit <laughs> because when y'all are ready to do it on the first time, yeah. That says a lot. There's a lot of communicating happening mm -hmm. on the very first time that you know is about to go down. Like leading up to it. Yeah, the it's, tension. Just, it's, it's a lot of that. So And be honest, Reggie, when when something goes wrong, women normally just put it on themselves like, yeah, well, it must be me. Maybe he's not attracted to me. I think right? when you're I, younger, yeah. like your early 20s, you definitely think that like, oh my okay. God, does he... Is he turned off by me? Mm -hmm. But as you grow up and you also talk to more men, your friends or a podcast or whatever, you learn like sometimes the, the guy wants to fuck you really bad, but it's just like not working. Yeah. So you understand that when you're older. Right. So I don't know, it could be, maybe he is turned off for me. I don't if know. If you got to put a disclaimer in front of you, like, yo, I'm really usually, you know what I mean? No, nah, <laughs> right now. She's not believing that, Pete. <laughs> that disclaimer is crazy. But, <laughs> but you want to know what it be. It's just to get an excited part. It's, it's like, you know, you... <laughs> You just envisioning your head how yeah. you gonna do it, this and that, and then you thought too much. I, I so I told, I tell y'all about thinking. I turn my brain off when I think too much. That's what happens. They start thinking about how good that pussy gonna be, and then they lose themselves. And when it's time to perform, they already had the interaction in their brain. So now that it's time to do it physically in person, is this what men go through? Oh, that's, a, that's a lot. Tell you me. understand? Like that first one is mm -hmm. really a lot. Mm -hmm. I could, I, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> You got a <laughs> <on> me that. <laughs> but there's been a lot of first times for me where mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I just don't. It's not, nothing I can do. I remember the first time this ever happened to me. I drove <sighs> over an hour and a half to a, a young lady's house in the yeah. projects. I went to the projects oh, for some shit. No, that's and right. I was feeling real good. I mm -hmm. thought I was about to lay it down. You know, I'm talking to tall. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. like I know what I do, whatever mm -hmm. it case may be. I so I thought. <laughs> it, it wouldn't get up. I tried everything. Yeah. I even went to the bathroom and tried to watch porn on my phone. Damn. That worsened it. And was it the nerves? I don't know what it was. You know what? Damn. Her daddy was <laughs> so I think this story <laughs> just gets wild and he's just saying it so casually I think I was just nervous about that small window I had of if this don't oh, go right shit. or if he just come in uh, yeah. like he had a <laughs> oh, this that's kind of hard he was one of them he's a drug dealer yeah, this isn't like a comfortable environment so like for yeah, so I think I'm gonna just, you know what I never gave myself that credit it wasn't a comfortable environment yeah, that's right. understandable. Yeah, that's what it was. It I had to be. 
Damn. But I was. Oh yeah, so I was comfortable. <laughs> no, no. But this shit just didn't, it didn't work. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm bro. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that. Yeah. Mark it. Bleep it. Yes. Something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> How get it? So, uh, bad boys more. Um, oh yeah, we was reviewing bad boys. <laughs> yeah, for the YouTube clip, we're gonna have to cut that whole thing. Oh man, uh, okay, but I, I just want to when I walked out the theater, I was like, I can't wait to say this on the pod. I, all I took from that amazing movie is that. Oh, <clears throat> I need to get this correctly. I can't do what I did on the top of the episode where I call myself black. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> if your name is Reggie, <laughs> you are a phenomenal human being Facts. and you will make everything you touch gold. Facts. Boom. I, oh, I got it. <laughs> Now nah, Reggie, Reggie was showing him up. He was showing him up. I, to nah, me, yeah, Reggie's got something to one, Please, for the listeners. What? Yeah, yeah. No, just keep going. But keep going. I just... I. I do think I'm biased because my name is also Reggie and his name is also Reggie. But that was my favorite part of the whole film. When yeah. he was like, sir, yes, sir, I got it. I'm a Marine. He put his wife and mother away in a closet. Spoiler alert. He killed... <laughs> this whole thing is a spoiler alert. Yeah, he, okay. he killed 15 people. He killed 15 assassins. Body don't know. By himself. Like, that was like such a like a full circle moment because in yeah. the obviously in the franchise, the yeah. most beloved scene, the Reggie <laughs> scene, the dating scene. Yeah. Like, Oh, I felt so good when walking out the theater. I loved it so much. Great culmination. Yeah. yeah. Great culmination. Even how they tied it up at the end where um, mm-hmm. Martin and uh, and Will Smith were trying to debate over who's going to you know, cook grill. the chicken on the grill. And then they tried to sun Reggie mm-hmm. and they expected him to leave when they told him to leave. But he's just standing there like, yo, like, I'm cooking. I just chicken. cook. I just flamed 14, 15 people. <laughs> what you mean? I can't cook on the grill. You better back up before you go next. So yeah, that was fire. <sighs> nah, yeah, I had no complaints for that. I can't front. I was looking for one too. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. I don't know what it is about the stars from the nineties. Mm-hmm. They just, they just, they just did fame right. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they had movie, less distractions. Movie stars, movie stars. The, the, the real movie star. Yeah. Fame is. I try to think about some of the actors, actresses in particular, not just like entertainers, but actors and actresses. In particular today, right. they just don't compare. Maybe we got to give them a little bit more time. But who is the movie star today that's going to transition into the future is Will Smith? Because when I went to go see the movie, there was a preview of a movie coming out with uh, Brad Pitt and George Clooney. Oh, my gosh. Yes. God. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? In my head, I'm geeked out because it's Brad Pitt and George Clooney. That is an expensive movie. That is a <laughs> yeah. just to get them two in the same room. Money on like crazy big bag and so it makes me appreciate the stars from the 90s the early 2000s even some of these guys from the 80s like will smith was really birthed in the 80s his career started in the 80s yeah. mm-hmm. and to see what he's doing today i, I just want to salute that because they're doing it right it's a good point you make it's easier for those people to i guess uh manage fame a little bit better because they didn't have all these distractions we had mm-hmm. you know like a lot of these entertainers they're very gifted i mean actors they're very gifted they're well spoken you see them out and about but their online presence might give you a different scope into how they actually are as a consumer. Back in the day, bro, we didn't know what the fuck Brad Pitt thought about. We didn't know what Angelina Angelina Jolie thought about. We just saw, like, their films. Mm -hmm. We didn't got to see them on blog spots. We didn't get to see other interviews, things of that nature. So, yeah, it's different. Different times. That is something I'm going to continue to keep my eye on. I think I brought this up maybe a year or two ago on this podcast when we spoke about the movie star dying, Mm -hmm. right? The movie star no longer being the thing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see how it evolves because the A-listers that come to mind today, and I'm not taking away from their talents. When I say their names, it's not about their talents. Like a Zendaya. Mm-hmm. I think she is uber talented. Mm-hmm. Like phenomenal. Everything she touches, I think she is a great actress. Mm-hmm. And I think she may be the one outlier that can somewhat transform that or, or continue that level of fame and, and whatever the case may be m- mystique you know <clears throat> but everybody else i i just don't see especially for the, like black actors and actresses i'm really trying to think like who who are the movie stars of today so y'all said like, fuck who... michael b jordan yes no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was joking. I just had to do that for a comedic time, but my Jersey King, I will always support Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Even when people were saying that he's a bad actor, I don't think he's a bad actor. I think yeah, he's a great I. actor. I think he's. Yeah. Nah, he could act. He just liked to be the same person. Yeah. Low key. <laughs> Y'all hate him. No, no, he could act. Y'all no, hate him. I'm not about to sit here. We're not about to sit here and lie like Michael he? B. Jordan. What, he, 
Fruitvale Station and Creed. What was different? Oh, that was Superhero, wild different, bro. What was different? It and, his, and his temperament and his facial expressions? His nutrition plan. <laughs> oh, so just the physique. <laughs> just the physique. No, Black Panther was a completely different role that he had to play. Okay. Yeah, nah, that's when they made him say nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's when they made him. Yeah, nah, you're right. Because he got he was he was like the dude from Cali, right? Wasn't that? Wasn't mm-hmm. that the storyline of mm-hmm. Black Panther thing? Mm-hmm. He was a yeah. He, he was in the set from Cali or some shit mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Killmonger. Uh, yeah. Killmonger. Come on, y'all yeah, know. Y'all know more than me, don't I? <laughs> Come on. But even a Michael B. Jordan, I think he's probably the closest in the black community for like black actors. And I hate to make this a black white thing, but just keeping it on some of the stars that we grew up. We're talking about Will Smith, we're talking about Martin. Those are like two of the biggest stars um in the nineties. Uh we also got like a Denzel Washington. Like mm-hmm. they are continuing they're they're keeping their positions so to speak right like i don't know anybody else who's getting me to go see a movie today right even a michael b jordan he had some shit that was on amazon he was like a, a detective he was some 007 shit like he was a secret agent killing shit yeah he was reggie for like the whole movie basically Reggie from bad boys <laughs> he was just him the whole fucking movie uh and still, I was like, all right cool i'll see it on streaming i'll add it to my list you know i didn't feel compelled to get out of my seat to go watch a movie for anybody outside of the people of yesteryear. What I've realized in the actors who have uh, a ton of longevity with this, like your favorite, like a Jim Carrey, a Will Smith, a Martin, they have this level of um, not giving a fuck hmm. that they can take it to, right? Like everyone is given a script. Everyone is given advice on, on lines on how they should say things and how they should react to things. And I think that's probably what it is with Michael B. Jordan a little bit. Like he can really act. I really don't want to take that from him, but just that passion that I get out of those A-list movie stars, I don't get that same passion, you know? Like, again, everybody has a different way of exuding that, right? Martin is more comedic. Uh, Jim Carrey is random. Like, you don't know what you're gonna get, and that leaves so much room for talent and growth. Mm-hmm. Michael B. Jordan is like, he can really act, and that's it. <laughs> Yo. That's, <laughs> that's my man. Nah, it's gonna sound like hate, but he, it he, like, he, he, he could act. He could act. But it's the same dude. They are the same dude. You gonna watch from Veil Station? I watched it. I've seen it. I thought it was a good movie. movie. And Creed? I saw Creed on yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get we get I feel like this is gonna be so bad that we might actually have to cut this. But you know what people okay, okay. I'm so scared right now. You know you know who people have also said also plays kind of the same character in every single movie? And he's one of the what? They said Beyonce. Kevin Hart. And, and he's the greatest actor of all time. You better uh, not say it. Say it. Denzel Washington. I'm scared. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Who said that about Denzel? Somebody said that Damn. about Denzel. Who said that about Denzel? But it's basically like... Who said that? I'm getting angry. That's okay. I only say I only say that because I've gone to like a really heated debate once. Uh, Will Smith versus Denzel. And mm. my argument was Will Smith is so like diverse. And Denzel... I think Denzel is the greatest actor of all time, okay? Damn. But like, I, I like seeing y'all shit on people. But the diversity... <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm so nervous right now. Now he got diversity. <laughs> I pulled up the IMDB. He got... No, we're not doing it's this. It's a very, like, flight. dramatic, like, just, you know? No. He doesn't... I, I don't know. What like, IMDB is? Like, he doesn't hold one of them. looked at me and was like, no. no. <laughs> um, like, we, where's the comedy? Okay, where's look, the fun? Like, we, we, we got... Uh, Fences. He named the Book it. of Eli. Oh, facts. Book of Eli. Okay. Training Classic. Day. Training Day. Training Day. That was a nigga from the hood slinging work. And he was... Blo- oh, no. Uh, I'm thinking of the Book of Eli. I done met day. that nigga. He, he was before in training. I done met him personally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Antoine Fisher. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> you know who's uh, Antoine Fisher? Mm-mm. That's a good one. We're going on? Check that out. Okay, you a movie buff. I'm going to check that out. Equalizer. And where he was equalizing shit. You know mm-hmm. you cried one, to two, that one. Three. You cried to all I, three of them. That's the shit I'm all crying. Exactly. The trilogy. Exactly. Uh, two, Flight. Yep. Classic. Classic. You just naming Denzel movies, bro. What are you, I know. What's, what's the, the point? You I, just throwing uh-huh. shit out there. I know. Mm-hmm. I'm what's trying to make sure something stick. What's the one where his son had to get surgery in the heart and he... Oh, John, my God, John Q. John, John, John Q. Yo, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Come that's, on. That's one of the best movies of all time. Come on. Of all time. Now, to this Denzel point, I'll entertain him a little bit. I'm just the messenger. No, no, no. It's not you. It's but not you. You use that against your Will Smith Denzel <laughs> argument. So you're not just the messenger because uh-huh. you stood on that. On it, Reg. I know you did. 
I know you told somebody. I who don't. Loved Denzel. I don't. No, no. I don't think Denzel plays the same person in every movie. I like bet. the argument is, Clear but I do think Will Smith is more diverse in his roles. Okay, right, I right. can accept that. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not angry with that. I, I could definitely see that. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys? But well, you're about to say something else. But I could see Denzel Washington in the train station and sleep with his son. <laughs> I could see it. I'm trying to follow you. But can he play? I'm saying Fresh like, Prince. He can't. Huh? He, he can't. can't. He, he, Denzel he can't. couldn't play. Okay. He can't. He can't. Okay. 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 To okay. the way that Will Smith did it, he he can't. I was basically saying, in the pursuit of happiness, I could definitely see Denzel Washington embodying that role. Definitely, yeah. I agree. I agree. I okay. can definitely see him embodying that. I agree. Role. Now, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No, no, no. Denzel be wearing Jordans. <laughs> he doesn't dance. He doesn't do the, <laughs> the physical comedy. Okay. Yeah. He, he he has a very stoic side to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That he exudes uh, exudes a lot. I could see that. It's very different. I, again, yeah. I, I just brought this conversation up because the I, I believe the movie star is is fading. Mm-hmm. The movie star is fading, and it's sad. And I just want to see how it evolves because we have TikTokers and influencers and streamers we have all of these other prominent figures and content creators Mm -hmm. and what makes me like a genuine joy is the experience of going to a movie theater Mm -hmm. there is a movie date i've never gone to the movies by myself i know there's a Mm -hmm. sicko weirdo community where they do that me i'm not a part of that before i love spending time myself i go all the time that's this is not me there's nothing wrong with it if a guy reclining seats there might be something wrong with it Oh. I it's going, just not for me. But you're going to recline with okay. There's an experience of going to the movies <laughs> with somebody, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And the 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 current super the current movie stars, they they just don't move me in that way. And mm. I don't know because there's been a lot of Will Smith movies that have come out over the last five, ten years, and not all of them have gotten me out of my seat. Mm-hmm. Right. I Some agree. of them, I've like, I'm gonna wait for that shit to come on streaming. So it could just be the nostalgia of a 30 year franchise, the investment right. of that seeing him and Martin. So it could also be that. But it took him 30 years to get here. So it's almost not fair to even have these conversations about a Michael B. Jordan or some of these other movie stars. I don't know. I'm conflicted, clearly. Yeah. I like knowing that the well, first to your point, I I I love when like, do you guys ever like watch a really good movie? And then you walk out the theater and you feel like you're in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was with him? Uh, yes. Was... <laughs> That's how you feel about bad boys? I'm walking like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, funny enough, Breaking Bad did that for me. You guys are sick. I feel like I'm in it. And then he thought he I was like cooking knowing dope. that um, like the box office, like movies still, I know it definitely has declined tremendously, but it really does right. have the potential to have like a $100 million weekend still. Now, do we put that onus on the actors or on the storylines being um, presented to us and, and being repetitive, right? Like we're talking about a bad boy series, right? They make money. Mm-hmm. We on Fast and Furious, uh, what, 15? 19, <laughs> something like that. Something like that. It's high. A lot of the movies that are making people return to the movie theaters mm-hmm. are just these big ass franchises, yeah. which is fucked up because these big ass franchises already had like established actors who were the front face of these brands. That's why I ain't go to see any of them new uh, Spider Man. But that's Tom hate. Holland, Tobey Maguire, my guy. I wasn't gonna switch. Once as soon as they switched to him, I said, "Oh hell no, they ain't, they ain't Spider Man." That's not. And then they start making cartoons with Miles and all that. I don't know who Miles is. You know what I think it is? I don't know who Miles is. I don't know if this is like a typical opinion, but I do think it's streaming because I was thinking about like 10 years ago, the box office, like the biggest blockbuster hit of the summer would be like a random, like average rom com. Yeah. But now we won't go to the movies to see that anymore because we just watch it on streaming now. Yeah. But like back then we had to go to the movies. So I think that is a main thing of like why people just like don't go to the movies anymore. Hmm. But I feel like everyone says that like streaming killed the box office. Like it's a typical opinion. It is, but oh, I'm trying to think too because do we have to put some onus on the actors? Because I'm looking, oh, I'm thinking about Kevin Hart. We spoke about Kev last week and he promoted the movie. And I think the movie had a star-studded cast. It had Kevin Hart, uh, Terrence Howard, Taraji P. Henson, uh, Henson, I'm sorry, Taraji P. Henson, and um, Don Cheadle. That's something I would think people would go to the movie theater yeah. to see. Samuel but it's going, in there, right? And Samuel L. Jackson, yeah. facts. So for them to go straight to Peacock, you're almost like prepping me right. to just <laughs> be ready for you to be on streaming, yeah. right? Like, if you're the biggest star right now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest stars, yeah. and all of his series are going straight to Amazon. Mm-hmm. I think he has another movie called Die Hard. Die Hard yeah. 2 oh, is yeah. on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah. Then he got this other movie he's promoting <laughs> on Peacock. Yeah. And then he has a ton of series on Netflix. Yeah. If he is basically priming me to 
go stream the shit, mm-hmm. what is my incentive to ever want to go to the movie theater? You're right. And there's something about mm-hmm. having a new movie out on streaming that makes you feel as if, okay, and I could be wrong. Damn, did it not have the budget? Damn, was it not good enough to be in a theater? Even though it very well could be. It could be fully funded. Mm-hmm. It could have an amazing cast. It could have made. It could have. They could have paid more for it. Absolutely. Yeah. But just could, that aura that, that, yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah, it yeah. being on streaming just makes you feel like, okay, did you guys put it here because you guys didn't think it would sell correctly? It has a stigma. Is? Straight to streaming has a stigma to it. Absolutely. Yeah. It might be like Absolutely. you're saying. It might be more lucrative that way though too. To oh, put it yeah. on streaming. Yeah. For, they could depending pocket, on what deal they see. Yeah. They could pocket the marketing money they would have spent yeah. on like a premiere and stuff like that. Because not everybody's making a hundred million dollars first weekend. Yeah. It could, but I think maybe the streaming companies and the movie theaters and the studios need to come up with like an ecosystem to where, all right, the movie's gonna come out on Friday the 13th. And in two weeks, it will be on this streaming. Like, oh, so maybe you, there needs to be some type of partnership. Oh, so you mean streaming? <laughs> no, because I'm going to wait to go streaming. What do you mean? You just broke down streaming. Nah, I'm saying two weeks Yo, after. They, they, Bad Boys some, 4 is not going to be on streaming. Not Bad Boys, That's you're right. I'm not saying like the, yeah. the, the, the bigger oh, movies, those, movies. those type of movies gotcha, with gotcha. the bigger actors, the bigger budgets, yeah. whatever the case may be. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's make a deal with the Apple TVs. Let's make a deal with the Maxis, whoever it is. If you go to AMC Theater, it'll be here for three weeks. After the three weeks, you can find it on Max. After Max, it goes wherever it needs to go. Yeah. Like, maybe they need to work in tandem. I don't know. But right. the experience of going to the movies has felt like I, I, I don't even appreciate it. I don't value it. There is no experience anymore. Yeah. And I hate that. Nice. And I hate that for the kids that come after us. Because they're never going to know what it's like to, like, finger somebody in a movie theater. <laughs> they're never going to reach into the popcorn and say, hold this. Yeah. Like, I'm that's an experience. Sure. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure nah. they I'm pretty sure they will. They don't even understand. We didn't even have reclining chairs coming up. Yeah. Oh, that was God. presented to us. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, shit, let's go to the good theater this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even know. Y'all went to IPIC. They, they gave me a blanket and everything. I'm trying to tell you. That's yeah. what they do over there. You going to get you a little waiter at IPIC? Uh-huh. I just pressed the button. I'm trying to tell you. Though. Nah, I asked them. They said they watched it. They lied. After every, after every movie. I hope they didn't. They lied. But it's all right. You used it. You good now, right? <sighs> you ain't got nothing, right? You ain't nice got no ring warm. warm. Nah, no ring warm. You got the bed? The bed uh, I pick? Or you did the chairs, um, the pod? Nah, I did the, the pod. The, the two-person pod. Two-person pod. Oh, you didn't do the bed? Nah, nah, not the bed. Right, I was just trying to think. So you I did the bed? Nah, that's only some Huh? You did the bed? You I, ain't, I ain't even going to no I picks uh, to see this one. Okay. I couldn't afford it. Right, that's how I can afford it. Yeah, I can afford it. Damn, I'm trying to think of the last movie I saw in theaters that wasn't a Marvel movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What about I know you? it's tough. It's yeah, tough. I don't know. I've been to the movies because I'll just go just to be like, hey, some dope movie. Let's go. So I've <laughs> been to the movies. Oh shit! Yeah. Thank you, thank you for uh, holding I'm, down. I'm trying to keep the industry alive. <laughs> yeah, man. you are. I, I work for You're one single. of the streaming companies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to keep the industry alive with my dollars, like, nah. and they're black dollars, Help, so they on. really count. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're single handedly carrying <laughs> no movie censuses. Industry. It says like the pie chart, <laughs> black dollars in the movie theater industry. All I'm a part of that. It's all from, all from Save yeah, 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 and I feel really good about that. Really good. Yeah, you know what I don't feel good about. Uh, oh, can shit. I say that, homie? Because <laughs> <No, I, no, laughs> they bullied me. They bullied me. They bullied you? Nah, they did. They, 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 no, they did. Nah, they bullied me into like tucking my beanie away. I saw that comment. What they said? They told me. <laughs> no, nah, what they said? They told me I wore the same beanie for 82 episodes did straight. They? Somebody was like, yo, Sid, one got to retire the beanie ASAP. Wait, which one? The, the, wait, did you really, the, though? The you one. agree? No, I do agree. The black one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't need them to like tell me to get rid of, change my headgear. So I went I mean, out. How many beanies could you wait, wear? Like, No, they did it. They paid too much attention. Yeah, they told me I need to retire one of these beanies. What? So I did. And I probably won't wear a beanie until September ish. Is that a new hat? That this you is a bought? brand spanking because, new. Because of this. <laughs> hey, 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 you into the new wait, camera. Uh-huh. The camera is zooming on me. B- bullying works. Hey. <laughs> tried to tell him. Yeah. Nah, shout yeah. out to the listeners. Like, I was in funny my feelings. Shit. I was in my feelings over that. Because it's like, why me though? <laughs> you made a decision. <laughs> right. They got, they, got a, they got a real love hate relationship with you, Sam. They yeah. do. I, I feel like it's more love than hate. And I welcome it all. Yeah. And I honestly. welcome it all. Reggie, you, you had a pretty interesting topic that you wanted to bring to the forefront. I can't pull up the clip, but I would love for you to intro that one. Okay. So, guys, I know the Drake and Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar feud. We have covered that to no end, but it was a great <laughs> month for us. I'm here to bring it back. Okay. So, <laughs> there was. um. An interview on Bootleg Kev's podcast, 
And you said it was problem, right? Yeah, problem. <laughs> he then so goes as Jason Martin. Oh, he's oh yes, he changed his name. Yeah, changed I'm sorry. Name. So yeah. he went on the podcast, mm-hmm. and we might play the clip, or I could just summarize it. But he basically was recounting the night that Family Matters dropped, that Drake dropped Family Matters. And then he was like, yo, I texted Kendrick, like, oh, you hear this? Like, yo, oh my God. And Kendrick texted him back, like, yeah, I've been waiting for him to drop something. I've been waiting for him because I have, like, three songs prepared for him. And then, okay, well. I'm listening to fucking Meet the Grams, and I'm just like, I ain't going to hold you. I'm going to give you some real insight. Is you hearing this first? They drop Family Matters, and I text him, I'm like, this ain't it. He's at, like, at all. I, I'm like, this ain't going to get it. I was like, man, it's time to step on his head. He was like, say less. I didn't. I'm thinking we just take. It ain't nothing deep like that. It's. Right. I go to the bathroom. I come back. The motherfucking song is uploaded. I said, wait, 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 wait. I text him like, nigga, you already. He's like, man, I've been waiting for this nigga to drop something. So he didn't even know what he was going against. Man, Drake shot a video and all this shit. Man, that guy was sitting at the Dodge crib. Caravan. Boom. Boom, you listen. Suck the life out of the whole moment for Sometimes drink. you just got to know what to do and what not to do. Some yeah. people... So after that clip, that went pretty viral. I saw an interesting tweet, and I'm, I'm excited to talk about it with the guys because I don't know how I feel about this yet. It said, remove all bias for two seconds, everybody. Can you imagine Drake pre-recorded all of his disses, didn't rebuttal any of Kendrick's bars, didn't address the accusations, and rapped about Kendrick having a fake daughter for four minutes? Like, are we really gassing this up? So I thought about it. I was like, that is true. Like, Kendrick did pre-record a bunch of things and just decided then when to drop, um, what to drop based on, like, what he, what Family Matters said. But, like, he didn't really rebuttal directly what anything that Drake said in Family Matters. And then the whole fake daughter thing turned out to just, like, kind of not land. No one talks about it now. So what do we think? Like, is, like, pre-recording songs a good strategy move? Or was it kind of like, hey, in hindsight, like, is, that's not really, uh, you didn't rebuttal anything. So I don't know how I feel about it. Personally, this is how I feel. If Drake would have took the same approach Kendrick Lamar took, I would have been crowning him the winner. I think people are trying to attach their fandoms or like a lot of people hate Drake right now, right? Like it's very cool. It's very easy to hate on Drake right now. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people are just finding new ways to be like, but wait. But what about this? But we're moving the goalposts. And I okay. and I respect that. Mm-hmm. I, I truly do because that's what fans do. Yeah, they're just... I promise y'all, if Drake would have taken the approach... Fuck that. If Drake was in the same scenario that Kendrick Lamar was in, in terms of how he grew up, how he was raised, um, his background, etc., and the things he could pull from his bag, he would have been Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> and this is very clear. I, I, I'm not attaching this to one person. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to take this back to my battle rap point. I've seen so many battle raps <laughs> i've seen so many battles as a kid right mm-hmm. i still to this day haven't seen a battle rap where where when they write something they're directly responding to what was written like battle rappers they're probably given a few months probably given a month no matter how depending on how long you know it is until the battle and they and they write both artists don't know what's being written about with who mm-hmm. until they get to the battle you get what i'm saying so in the battle some people are crafty enough to have rebuttals within what they wrote. Some people... Oh, and it applies. And it applies. Okay, Some people okay. are just crafty enough like that, and I salute mm-hmm. them for it. That's, you get extra points. Kudos. Salute. But everybody knows with battle rap, you're coming to write something. And whatever you wrote is what you got to present. Now, because that's what you wrote, hey, hopefully it holds up in court now that the battle has started. Wait, you mean in, in battle rap, you're showing up with something already written? Absolutely. Okay. That's like a known thing for people that don't know. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's like a thing already, right? Like, they already know what they're going to spit. That's why, like, when they fuck up, they're repeating it. They're going back to stanzas. Mm-hmm. They know how they want to start the first round, the second round, and how they want to close the third. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. So, to answer that, for me, I, this was a rap battle, so I'm always going to mm-hmm. take it back to that. And... I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I guess like I was I was Dude. like, oh, it is true that he didn't like directly rebuttal the things that Drake said in Family Matters. But now I think about it, Kendrick was just like very prepared. Like it was just, it was just preparation and yeah. I respect that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I've heard Joe say this a lot of times. I've heard other rappers say it too. Put your T. Um, but sometimes rappers, they just have a list. And on that list are other rappers that I potentially see as a threat. A nigga I may not like, or somebody who is just very dissable. <laughs> and on that list, I'm always gonna have something in the talk. Like the higher quality 
MCs, the the real wordsmiths of this game, like the people who who are students of this game. A lot of our heart styles, P talk about it. They all have a list of of artists where if he says one thing about me, I'm on his ass. It's up. If he looks wrong at me at the after party, I promise you, I got mm-hmm. 89 bars <laughs> coming his way. The game, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think, mm-hmm. like Alex said, today's climate, today's hip hop fan, they try to move the goalposts for who it is that they want to and see. I get win. it. They fan, yeah, they fans. I but in the it, essence, but... in the reality of hip hop, like this is still war. This is still a battle. This is still strategy. So if you came underprepared, you knew that there was underlying smoke between us. So for you not to have anything prepared is a flaw on your end. This didn't just pop up. Right. Back to respecting uh, respecting your opponent, right? Exactly. You know? This didn't just pop up. So this has been brewing. And both of them have acknowledged in their exchange that this has been brewing. This is not something that just came Absolutely. off of the like that record, off and, of first person shooter. And not for nothing, maybe he had that strategy for that round. Because I, I don't remember what song it is right now. It feels like that was just yesterday, and I still can't remember. But there was one of those songs where Kendrick is saying on the song, yeah, you were so predictable. Like, I knew you was going to go to talk about uh, my girl and this and that. So oh, yeah. I don't know if that was pre-recorded or he heard what you did. And was then, it 616 in LA? It might have been might 616. Be, I yeah, I, I'm forgetting now. It feels like a national holiday. But uh-huh. yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not docking yeah. anybody points for being prepared. Right. I'm not docking anybody points for doing their homework. Right. Like you study for the test, and when the test came, you passed. <laughs> you had something in the tuck. You were ready for this. I was prepared for this. You, I don't know. I, I get the point I'm of like being. Pre- okay, no, you go first. No, I was just gonna say. But do you give points? How much points do you give to somebody to create something in the moment and then have it land? Also, that's what. But that's what I'm thinking about because it's like for half the song, his big kicker, his pr- preparedness was about the secret daughter that like did not land, in my opinion, because people just kind of like. Was like, ah, this is true. I don't think it was <gasps> his big kicker. In that song, I think it was. It was oh, like, that oh my song? God. Yes, and, yes, my fault. You're right. Yeah, Meet the Grams. Right. And like, yeah. I thought you meant the scope of the battle. Yeah, I understand yeah. he had. And then, because it didn't land, I feel like Kendrick kind of was like, oh shit, is this doing what I thought I was going to do? And then, yeah. boom, he did not like us, and then he won. Yeah. So that is strategy, and then, so he deserves a win. <laughs> but, I don't know, like, I understand... It was preparation, but mm-hmm. there's just there's just like little nuances in well, it still, I feel like. Mm-hmm. DJ Head and Charlemagne. Um Charlemagne was on DJ Head's podcast, a radio show. Mm-hmm. And shout out to DJ Head. He's been like killer the, the mouthpiece for all of LA and, and everything that he says seemed to be factual. So DJ Head told Charlemagne that everything that Kendrick said in Meet the Grams was true from Heard Kendrick that. Lamar. That's right. what Kendrick told him. Right. Right. Now, Kendrick hasn't done the internet games much. He hasn't gotten there defending his name. He's not dropping memes. He's not doing that. So as of right now, the culture that we go to when we want to get that type of information from Mm -hmm. that camp is DJ Head. Mm -hmm. So whatever is true, whatever is not true, we don't know because we still don't know any of the shit that Drake said is true or not. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why I brought it back to battle rap. All these niggas do is lie. <laughs> yeah, you did say that. <laughs> Remember it's when, it's yeah. all about the delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, like, new rap fans, I understand how all this shit is being skewed and mm-hmm. why they want to mm-hmm. fight hard on Twitter. I get it. I'm with you. But you got to understand where a lot of this where a lot of this shit originated. If you understand the origins of, the, origins of this shit, man, you won't be as confused as to why people have chose a winner or a victor, et cetera. But, and honestly, I think that yeah. is super dope. Yeah. When you have a whole song dedicated to a nigga what? that you don't like. You mean Pharrell? Like, <laughs> you mean Pharrell? Just waiting, bro. <laughs> Imagine you dislike somebody so much yeah. that on your hard drive, there's just venom. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to and go. You know, at any given moment, Every I can green just venom. press this button. Nah. And it will fly, like, fry your whole life. Like, I, I, I fuck with that. Evergreen like venom is crazy. That's pure diabolical. Yeah, just hatred. to have that in like, the cut. I really don't like you. I yeah. really, I really don't like this guy. And I'm just waiting for the day for him to just want, just look at me the wrong way. No, just say, the, say anything. I kind of want to hear all the other joints Kendrick had on. You say he had more did he stock. Re- did he really? Oh no, he didn't release all of them. Nah, no. after not like us, he just cooled out. Yeah, well, so it was a win. Um, at the time of us recording this, the Juneteenth Kendrick and Friends uh, pop out event in hasn't LA, happened. it hasn't happened yet. Oh so, my goodness. We don't know what could come of this. I don't feel like this is over. I don't feel like Kendrick is done. I don't feel like Drake is done. Mm-hmm. I think Drake did the right thing by falling back. Maybe he's regrouping. Maybe he's retooling. I have no idea. But heard somebody like. You heard new music? I heard new music is coming. Well, he's dropped new music. 
He's dropped. Nah, summer, it's, summertime it's not, vibes. Solo, solo, solo song. I'm okay. hearing the solo music. I heard like the video, video was shot and all that. Like yeah. to do with the battle, or just like him trying to like. I don't know, but I know it's something else. Solo Drake music. I think Wednesday, yeah. and by the time this comes out, it already have has passed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm curious to see what that looks like, and I'm curious to hear how we will sound or how we will feel <laughs> yeah. next week when we record, nah, because it's so many different variables with that concert. Like you could bring out all of the people who don't fuck with Drake. This Damn. could be a let's take a victory lap on this light skinned Canadian guy, <laughs> or yeah. it could just be hey, I just want to connect with my fans, and I'm not even gonna acknowledge Drake. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know yet. Yes, you do. I really don't. Yes, it's you Monday do. when we're recording this. I have no clue. You ain't see them gang members he was hanging with he's always with gang members i know they in la at the forum how many gang members you think gonna be in there it's gonna be a lot this ain't the meet this ain't the chris brown meet and greet y'all <laughs> okay Maybe a little call back on that this, this is, oh you like this this is not the chris brown meet and greet ain't gonna be meeting and greeting yes if you want a good chris <laughs> brown meet and greet come uh august 17th <laughs> need to know mixer brooklyn new york get your ticket <laughs> but now nah, we know what that shit gonna come with and i can't wait for us to really recap that shit because that's gonna come with a lot now mm-hmm. let's not deviate too quickly pharrell you saw what i just said in the chat let's do it pharrell uh had the opportunity to uh lead the soundtrack for the despicable me uh movie <laughs> and fans are speculating that <laughs> there's a song on here <laughs> that's directed at drake um so i want you to play it I think I have the lyrics right here. And yeah. one minute. I just started from Just the started from there, I believe, because he getting funky, so I don't really know what kind of diss this is. This a dissy, this is a funky diss. I'm trying to hear it. Funky diss. Keep playing. Your life double sided. Then I was like, he can't be talking about Drake. What have you done? But then he said, what, some of your dirt has come to life. That's perfect. That, pre, that pre-chorus that says, so what have you done? Brah. Not his words, not mine. <laughs> some of your dirt has come to light. Why are you speeding up that hill until the brakes come off and someone saw you in a fight? Am I right? now?" We that could shit, very well be chatting here. That shit is ass. Yeah, I ain't going for this. Nah, nah. Hey, tell on my Aries Hold brother. Okay, so. <laughs> terrible. Tell on my Aries brother. What the fuck? Wait, but you disagree, though. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but it's like. It ain't his best. Okay, if this was, if this was about Drake, let's, let's, say, let's even just say it's about Drake. Yeah, but like, yeah. did it do any damage? It definitely did do any damage. No. This is. Yeah, so how is it a diss? It, he was just singing nah, about Drake. Nah, well. Well, you're not a battle rapper. You got to find a way to get this shit off, right? <laughs> you got to find some medium. But dissing him in this form, that's, t- that's tough. That's, that's tough. tough. On it's a Despicable, despicable Me? Yeah, yeah. Come on. That, the off. kids might be singing this. I mean, the... the, 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 the I mean, the, <laughs> Kendrick already got niggas saying certified... Pa- like, a mat- they, bro, they hitting yes. him from all angles. And the movie is called Despicable Me? They hitting him from all angles. They <laughs> yeah. got the... the nah, yeah. Y'all saw, at the bar mitzvah? Yeah. yeah. yeah the they kids. were singing. The it was kids. going up to so not like us. So yeah. now, imagine if this sticks. Mm-hmm. The kids, they just... Yeah, man, it could be I, scary. It could be scary. scary hours. I heard Pharrell working on a Lego joint too. It's supposed to be his like autobiography <laughs> type of thing, and he has characters like Kendrick Lamar featured in there, and Jay Z, yeah. and Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Okay, if if I hear another verse on there, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna know. Like, okay, I do believe that <laughs> Pusha T will enter the chat at some point. Oh, I absolutely oh. agree with that. Oh I do believe. Oh my gosh. Pusha absolutely. T will enter the chat at some point. I'm I'm in a Pusha T Reddit. Uh oh. I'm, I'm over there. Of course there. you are. I'm doing the deep dives. No, I got to oh, do the shit. science for us. You know, I bring the information back to the pod. <laughs> but, um, and and even some of his, and Pusha T's a very um, cryptic person. Yeah. Um, but even his social media, some of the captions on there. I I wouldn't be surprised if that button gets pushed rather sooner than later. It's because awesome. they, they had unfinished business. <laughs> and I think Drake is vulnerable right now. I think... You know, and he first shot when Drake wasn't that vulnerable. Mm-hmm, exactly, so, he yeah. was very much protected. Right, right. Um, as we all know, some of the stuff that's that's happening down. I don't want to get in like the street politics of Houston, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. they're occupied with other things going on. I don't mm-hmm. know. You know what I'm saying? So with, as far as the Drake goes, I know he had a lot of protection before. I don't know what he stands with that protection, but it looks like if you're gonna shoot, this may be the time to revisit that. And then also Drake 
And he was just so silly throughout this whole beef because, sure, you didn't mention or say anything to Pusha T, right? He specifically avoided anything that started with a P or a T in his entire rap beef. P or a T. Like, he, 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 he knew better than to go at that Pusha T, which he didn't. But why would you shoot at his best, like his man, Pharrell? Right. Uh... And so if I'm Pusha T, all I need is a reason. You just gave me a reason. The same way that he antagonized Pusha T bringing up his wife, the same way he antagonized Kendrick Lamar bringing up his girl, his yeah. wife, his fiance. Yeah. Like you antagonize these people. And then however they respond, yeah. it really does some damage to you, buddy. It does, doesn't it? It really does some damage to you. Can we wait just just can we revisit like why? Okay, I know um Drake on Family Matters, he was like, oh, something like Pharrell, then come get his legacy out of my house. So was he responding to something Kendrick said? Yeah, right? Did Kendrick bring up Pharrell first? Uh, I'm trying to see why yes, he Pharrell said, was involved. He, yeah, because he, he said, Let, fuck all of that push it. When he did the whole push a T thing. Like, he like just included Pharrell's name? Yeah, he, like, he said, I'll inherit the beef. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what uh, he said. For, for Pharrell, I'll, I'll, for, inherit. I'll inherit the yeah. I'll, I'll inherit the okay, beef. Okay, okay, okay. Let me you see fuck all of that push a T. Let me see push a T. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that was a that was, that was a good re- recall, man. Thank you, thank you. You're really an artist. I'm trying. I saw it. You saw his brand working yeah, in real time, yeah, real yeah, time, yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, back yeah. to his I island. Was I was like, <laughs> how to get back to it? But um, it's fucked up. Hey, push, you my man. I gotta take a little uh pause. Break. Yeah, <laughs> dramatic gotta, pause. Gotta take a little dramatic pause when you say shit like that. Let me say one more again. Push, you my man. They're not going to give a fuck when you shoot at him. That is not true. They're not going to give a fuck. They're that, not going to care. That is so not true. That is not true. Yo, I hope they're going to care. I'm a fucking hater. I'm not, not a hater. Dude, just Wait, I, I, I'm I, not I, a hater. I didn't, you, I, didn't, I didn't expect Alex to say nah, that. I'm not a hater. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all why. Just explain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and y'all know why. Kendrick Lamar has been accepted from large amounts of people, different types of age range, groups, etc. Yeah. yeah. His music has transcended way further than Pusha T has. That's respect to Pusha T. We don't got no beef with Pusha T. We love Pusha T in here. I love, love Pusha T. I love Pusha T too. I don't know if you. I love Pusha I T. I do. Too. I love Pusha T. He's a great rapper. It's nothing against him. Okay. It truly, it isn't. If anything, when he was getting at it with Drake, my whole thing was like, okay, dude, I like how you're doing this and really showing getting to the facts because as soon as this beef concludes, they're not gonna give a fuck. And was I was I wrong? I how much wanna, attention? I, I don't want to go backwards. I want to go forward. How much attention was paid to Pusha T's career a after lot. his spew? A lot. I think that helped Pusha post, T. I post think he the knows beef that too. Or since then, like I'll say, like the last probably like in general, Pusha. No, yes, no. Pusha way. T is still doing fucking uh, festivals. He's a tour everybody overseas. Like everybody, I, I think. I think. <laughs> everybody <laughs> doing yes. everybody do festivals. I, I, I don't see it from that view, and maybe because I'm a little bit more invested, yeah. I don't see it from that view. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when I say they won't care, like when you like, say they won't care, I don't agree because I believe that in some capacity, Kendrick Lamar and Pusha T. I think there's a world where those worlds collide. The worlds collide if you're Kendrick Lamar and Pusha T. I'm talking about the consumers and the fans who are digesting this mm-hmm. shit. Right? You don't think they would care if Pusha I T think, had anything to I, say? I, because I think they will because this beef has brought out like, the hip-hop lovers. I like this. And I feel like the, the hip-hop lovers would be absolutely like thrilled if Pusha T got involved. And, What's think, happened? And, and to kind of piggyback off of Reggie's point, it's unfinished business between the two. I understand. So I think if it was to be reignited, Officially, people would care because they Which were invested people? and it never it never ended. Which people? I Everybody want to... who cares now. The hip hop fans. Thank you. Thank you. The the okay. rap the, the lyricists, the bar for bar niggas are gonna give a fuck about that shit. Actually, Yo, you're fucking they're, crazy. They're, ah, we'll just we'll just wait. We'll just wait and see. I'm sorry, you don't push these guys. We'll, yeah. we'll, just, wait, crazy, we'll just wait and see. Like, it's true. You look up. All right, scenarios. I'm now, now we're playing like hip hop imagination <laughs> yeah. time, right? Because we don't know. What we do you have mean? no. Oh my god, it's like a you know, you it's like a goosebumps choose your ending book. Yeah, exactly. So let's play that so game. Let's play that, like game. Eight, let's play that game. Let's play that game. If Kendrick Lamar and Pusha T work together and make, I, I don't even want to say muscle, give them a bro. fucking song, or anything. <laughs> let's just say they just happen to be featured on on, on a Metro Boomin song. I don't know, but hypothetically speaking, so you, you don't think if both of them sent shots at Drake's way on the same song together that only the hip hop world would care about what Pusha T you don't think anybody else outside of dedicated rap fans would care what Pusha T has to say about Drake you ready absolutely Pusha T actually outed a child of Drake's right oh yes right actually did right mm-hmm. okay Kendrick Lamar only speculated 
Okay. But the masses gave Kendrick Lamar the win, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? What they you gave Pusha the win too. Exactly. What no, are you saying? No, 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 no. They did not get what out. the fuck? Oh, Alex. What reality are you living Wait, in, bro? Pusha T won that having, battle. We having three different conversations. I gotta break this down. We get okay. Though I don't. I'm not talking about us. <laughs> I'm not talking about hip hop purists. I'm not talking about lyricists. I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar could not win that battle with Drake if it wasn't for Drake's fans to also concede. Mm-hmm. Do you see where I'm getting at now? Like, people on Pusha T side who come from that battle rap shit, of course they're going to rock. I rock with that shit. But at the end of the day, bro, Pusha T was able to out him. Pusha T was able to, quote unquote, win the battle, but nobody gave a fuck. Pusha T even brought up the ghostwriting shit. Nobody gave a fuck. But when Kendrick Lamar talked about a child that we haven't seen yet, everybody gave a what fuck. What made you feel just, like nobody just, just gave a fuck? Finish. What do you mean? What? I just asked a okay, question. You're right. Let me rephrase. In comparison to Kendrick Lamar, and again, I keep bringing up the same thing. Pusha T actually out of the child, right? Actually did it, right? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar only is speculating about it, right? <laughs> okay. Right? Right? I said, okay, <laughs> nigga, keep getting to it. You keep asking me the same question. Because it doesn't change your it, point. It changes the exact way. You're not listening. I am listening. You said okay. it 18 times. So why hasn't Pusha T's career changed the way Kendrick Lamar has Post battle, and he actually had stuff oh, that was very like damning. the victory. But that's the level we're talking about. Man. They're at a different level. That's of my visibility. Whole point. That's my whole point. So what point does that being mean? at a different level of visibility, Savon, is why Kendrick Lamar is looked at the way he is right now. Pusha T ended Drake in that shit. His fans, Drake's fans, did not concede oh, to that. Oh, I see what you're Thank saying. you. It Drake's never fans. ended. Savon, Drake, the Drake, the Drake and Pusha T beef, it didn't end. It came to an abrupt stop because of the street politics behind it. There was no exchange. Save there on. was a song. I there was another as song. A fan. And then that was no, I'm not. That's the truth. Uh, so give me actual examples because I'm giving you actual I do, examples. I do think Drake fans. Did, <laughs> yeah, I think even Drake fans will say that he lost the Pusha T battle. Yeah. I've met I Drake think, fans that say he did not. Well, okay, those are super fans. <laughs> like if you ask like Armand, he would be like, yeah, like he that that was the battle he lost. He lost against Pusha T. I feel like yeah, like people Most would say people that. Would I say think, that. I, I don't think know. I think we really like music and we're <laughs> getting a different speed. I don't know, I feel bro. like a Yo. lot of people think that he lost the Pusha T battle. <sighs> yes. Alex, like, I think I do. that's leave it in the comments, bro. Leave it in the comments. Okay, but I feel leave like what Alex you're also saying is like okay. That's cool, but after that, Drake is still successful and was Thank not really. You. Yeah. Okay, no, I agree with that, but and people can also acknowledge, like, yo, no, Pusha T won that. You can and even after can, Kendrick beef, but that's not the important even after part. What did beef, I, but what did I say? Drake I said, is still going to be successful. But what did I say though? That's not even my statement. My whole statement was centered around they're not going to care like that. I'm not. I'm not saying that people are not going to acknowledge the loss or not. When Kendrick Lamar, like, I'm gonna keep saying it for you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. He repeat. <laughs> you told me. Nothing. You told me at the Drake shit when so we spoke crazy. about when we spoke about the Drake thing. You yeah. told me Kendrick Lamar repeated stuff Pusha T already said. Yep. So why was it more effective than Pusha T? Because Kendrick is a bigger artist. That is my point. Thank you. We're wait, saying wait, the same wait, thing. Wait, okay, but it's, it's what are we fine. talking about? I, okay, so you agree. gaslighting me right now. You're gaslighting the fuck out of me. Okay, so Kendrick, we all agree that Kendrick Lamar is a bigger artist than Pusha T. But we are saying, yo, but if Pusha T is tapped in, people are going to care, Alex. Like, they are. They're not going <laughs> to care if they don't revere Kendrick the way that... If they don't revere Pusha the way they revere Kendrick. They're not. Bro, Pusha T really ended, boy. They didn't give a fuck. I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Thank you. You're, like, saying, you're saying people care more <laughs> that Kendrick did what he did more than... Push your teeth. Yes. They, well, like, yo, y'all act like I'm saying. I'm not saying crazy. No, y'all nah, are basically, you gaslight. you basically, no, you feel gaslight because we saying the same thing. You literally just admitted to me and said that Pusha T and Kendrick, okay, Kendrick is the bigger artist. Yes. yes. Correct. Correct. So because Kendrick is the bigger artist with the more impact that they actually respect, mm-hmm. he can repeat exactly what Pusha T said, mm-hmm. but it'd be more effective for Kendrick. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Like it'll have more yeah. of an impact. Oh, yeah. Kendrick, that's that, what I'm that, saying. That, that was, no, no. Because what you said, this whole st- thing I started. I literally said because they you, won't no, care like about, that. Exactly. Yes. That's not true. <laughs> it is true. That's not what you're back, saying. Back, right, just I, because we agree with this most recent statement doesn't is not the same thing as you saying like people won't give a fuck if push. Yeah, Let yeah. me ask you a question. <laughs> I saw academics concede to Drake's law. Oh yes. yeah, that was crazy. Oh, like, y- y'all acting like y'all know what I'm saying. I saw at his biggest supporter r- running around will spread whatever for Drake. He publicly conceded to that loss. 
Okay. That's how bad the loss was. That's yeah. how bad the loss was. Mm-hmm. And Savon told me that he repeated what Pusha T said. So if that's a fact, we need to see, see this is the thing, right? Everybody is gonna have their favorite. Mm-hmm. Whoever sides with Pusha T is gonna side with Pusha T. Whoever <laughs> sides with Drake is gonna side with Drake. Mm-hmm. Whoever sides with Kendrick is gonna side with Kendrick. Mm-hmm. The unanimous winner comes when all fan bases concede to facts. I, okay. And I, there were mad Drake fans. That, there were mad Drake fans that didn't like the fact that Pusha T out of the kid. They was like, "That's not a dub." I know I'm not bugging. You. I, I, leave it in the comments. Y'all don't remember. Y'all don't remember. Definitely leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. The reason why I can't con- concede to that point, yeah. like I, see, I want you to. I, I, I just want I, you to I see. I can't. I can't even like. <laughs> It's not processing. <laughs> but you just saw me with the bigger artist. <laughs> but it's it's not processing. <laughs> because this is how I see it. When you when you make that, when you 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 kind of break up the fan bases, right? You you put three fan bases. You said there's Kendrick, there's Drake, there's Pusha T, right? Mm-hmm. By default, let's just say Drake has the largest uh, fan base out of the three, and then Kendrick is slightly under Drake, and then Pusha T has a little teeny tiny bit of the pie, right? Compared to those three in this arena. The reason why I can't say, oh, because of the majority of Drake's fans didn't say he lost doesn't mean he didn't lose is because there's a lot more to pull from. It's like the analytics in America when they talk about black on black crime. There's way more white people in this country to pull statistics from than there is black. So the 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 the, it doesn't match. The numbers aren't the same. You can't okay. equate one thing we're to another because the there's same. such a smaller part we're of that pie. <laughs> Yo, bro, you know we're saying the same I thing. I do know what you're saying, but you're not listening to me I now. Am. I'm asking you to listen to me I now. Am. I'm so listening to you. Oh God. God. To, God. to answer your you're point. Not. When I ask you to listen to me, you keep saying I am. Go, you're not. I'm gonna, go and I'm going to answer. Wait, real quick. In, <laughs> we thera- the same in therapy, they do this. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> Save on. Repeat what you hear Alex saying. I just did. <laughs> Right, what the now, fuck y'all are gaslighting me? I, I don't gaslight nobody. Alex, I don't know what that Alex, means. Alex, repeat nigga. what say, what you hear Savon saying. Stop, that's not going to work. Savon is saying that all fan bases are different, so I am wrong. Because that's I, not what I said. Can I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> you just told me I ain't finished, right? Can I finish? <laughs> this is hilarious. She had I'm niggas sorry. go for Pusha T. This is hilarious. Like, this shit is very simple. That's what I said. Who got a bigger fan base? Pusha T or Kendrick Lamar? Kendrick. Okay. So if he has a bigger fan base, aren't more people going to care in comparison to that person? Yes. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are we talking about? No, but we you... agree with that. But that is not... I think it's two different points Thank here. you. Thank you. Right? No, no. There, you know what's happening? We are doing two <laughs> different things, but Alice keeps saying that we're saying the same thing and we're not. We are saying... Okay, I'm going to stay quiet. Break down your point to me about fan bases. I'm crying. Break down your point to me about fan bases. <laughs> no, because... Alice keeps yelling at us and we're like, we're saying the same thing. And they was like, no, we're not. We dead ass are. Not you but... are, but... We're same. saying the same thing, but we're not making the same point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fair. Make your point. Ooh, that was like, what's your that point? Was poetic. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you're just saying shit. You're just saying shit. Hey, bro. I want you to directly answer me. Alice is mad at me now. Like, directly answer me. Don't give me a little. Yeah, that's what you like to do. You like to rap and shit. No. Directly oh, answer me. Oh, oh, oh. Directly answer me right now. Okay. You were talking about the fan bases, right? Yes. Break that point down and I'll stay quiet. <sighs> You keep trying to talk about fan bases, and you're saying that Drake's fan base did not concede to the loss to Pusha T because the overwhelming amount of his fans don't view it as an L to Pusha T. That's what you said. That was one of the points that you said. You said, I know so many Drake fans who don't believe he lost to Pusha T. But I know Drake fans that conceded to the Kendrick Exactly. And when you say that, my argument is, of course you're going to say that. It's unequal because there's not as many Pusha T fans. So the overwhelming Drake fans, just because they're the majority and they it's a larger pool to pull from, it doesn't mean they're right. Because their their fandom of Drake is going to skew how they feel about Pusha T because he doesn't have the fan base to combat the Drake the same way that a Kendrick does. Whose fault is that? It's an equal playing field with Kendrick. It's not about, I'm I'm talking numbers, it's not about whose fault it is. What I'm saying is it's not an equal playing field to just say, oh, his fans think this. No. The consensus That's not even my point, though. My point is saying the 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 consensus. Did you understand what I was just saying just now? I understood it, too. Did y'all get what I was just saying? I understood it, too, nigga. The fuck? I don't know. I'm kind of. Why are you looking over? Right I understand now. it too. Wait, so what I'm saying is the conceding point. What's Savon saying? 
Savon is saying it cannot be measured against each other. Yes. Okay. Correct? Yep. I'm not like I hear what you're saying. Okay. What I'm saying is the concession point is the way. Let me explain. If you have a fan base who has a stand base for you, uh-huh. no matter what you do, are they not gonna say you won or not? Absolutely. Sure. So the difference with the Kendrick Lamar and the Pusha T shit was wow. With Kendrick shit, fans were actually able to concede to the loss. Yeah. It was like unanimous. Which made people mm-hmm. care more about Drake taking a loss and taking a hit. I also think Drake <laughs> and Kendrick fans overlap, which allows you to see it a little bit more now clear. Drake and Kendrick fans. I do. <laughs> I, I, Just like you, you, got got you, ain't say that. you ain't say that when we was potting this I'm whole time. Tell you that Drake. right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think it does. So it's a lot easier for somebody who's a fan of both of these guys to be objective, a little bit more objective. If I don't give a single fuck about Pusha T and all I care about is the big three or Drake or whoever the case may be, I'm going to dismiss that. I'm, and again, the battle didn't finish. Everybody to you. Like, it's Wait, which <laughs> which one? Yeah, I don't know. Push T, push T, push T and Drake. It stopped abruptly after because because it's been documented. Hey man, I didn't want things to get too ugly. We had to make calls and we had to apologize, mm-hmm. so we couldn't really go back and forth because I was really why I all the ass energy from Drake. <laughs> why I ought to get him, mm-hmm. but they told me not to get him. Mm-hmm. That's what it was given. We didn't even see a full exchange the way that we have seen with a Drake and a Kendrick, where maybe we can determine, yo, this is an actual winner up until this point. And not just because they put out what six songs, seven songs in the span of four weeks, five weeks, however long it was. Like there was a full blown exchange between the two for you to determine. I'm a winner. But if Pusha T had Kendrick Lamar's fan base at that time, he would have been they, they would have been like known as the winner, right? Right? Because he should have been. Man. That's the he point I'm trying to make. Been. That's what I'm trying so to say. So just because he I doesn't say, have the fan base, it doesn't say, oh, he didn't win. Just because he has more people saying it does. Drake won. No, it doesn't. Kendrick Lamar, one thing he did really well with this battle that surprised everyone was how he was kind of abreast to certain things on social media, right? Like uplifting mm-hmm. the thing for creators, yeah, yeah. right? Like oh, yeah. no, kinda, copyright. no copyright, mm-hmm. kind of beating Drake at his own game when it comes to like so- certain social media things, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with this, bro. Like you can't, fuck, we saying the same thing, bro. It's all right. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my blood pressure is higher. Yeah, we saying <laughs> You literally just answered for me. You literally said it. We cool. Me, this only started because I said they won't care as much. If you, no, you said they won't care at all. Oh, well, if I said that, I, I've reworded that multiple times. They won't, I said in comparison to Kendrick, they will not care. They won't. And if it's not at Kendrick's level in terms of how people react, it won't be received on a large scale level. It's just a fact. So when you're telling me about all. Oh, but that's not what you said. That's what you're saying now. And that's what you that's pulled not, from it. No. I we were the fuck. fucking rewind I, the tape. I take it back, man, if I said that. I do think I, take, I do think as you said that they wouldn't like give a fuck. You I take said it back. they wouldn't I take give it back. a fuck and you stood on it and they that's why care. I had to get passionate. They won't care as much, bro. <laughs> if you would have said that, I could have wasted my breath. Nah, Cuz you want push a team fan going mad hard. He bringing up fan base. Nah, shit. He said he said he said both. Nigga, you know both fan bases different. That's what I'm saying. This is gaslighting. Fucking gaslighting. Okay. If from the start you said, yeah, if Pusha T stepped in, they'll, they'll care, but not as much as Kendrick. But you didn't say but, that from the beginning, Alex. You didn't say that. My fault. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> you, you, oh my nah, God. That's what you I meant. Wound up, you wound up eventually saying that, but initially, okay. Okay. you said the other I said, 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 said they're not going to give a fuck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. A firm one, too. Uh, all right, well. A let firm me, not give a fuck. I, I mean, I'm going to stay here, though. <laughs> How long? Like, fuck it, I'm in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Double down. Like, How long did the whole beef between Kendrick Lamar and uh, Drake last? Like a couple, what, a month or two? I think a month. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. If Pusha T come at Drake, how long do you think that's going to last? I don't know. I don't know. You do? <laughs> I don't know. A week. If people are going to talk about it for not... hot. Do you think it'll be a, a shorter exchange? Yes! Why are we acting okay. like this is not fast? It, it, may, it may be a shorter exchange, because I don't may? think... It may be. Because do you think Drake can actually do what he just did with Kendrick I don't think again, Drake is all? ever going to go up against Pusha T ever again. Uh, exactly. Which is going to be... That's my point. And no, no, no. I don't think that. I don't think that. Because oh, I think I, if I think if Pusha T inserts and does what, like... He's done with Pusha. I, I think so. He's I, done with Pusha. And, may, he, may, and he should be. <laughs> and he yeah. should be. Yeah. <laughs> like, he should be. If yeah. he knows what's best for him, which is why he didn't say... He named every other rapper who ever said anything bad about him mm. in this song. Besides Pusha T. Besides Pusha T. So, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. My fault if I was gaslighting. I ain't mean the shit. 
I, I, just, I just thought it was like generally known, like Kendrick Lamar to a push a Tia. I'm honestly talking you about gotta impact. apologize. You got to apologize to some people in your phone, not to <laughs> us, but you got to. Because I know, you did, that, I know you did that to somebody before and never. didn't know you was gaslighting. Never that. Everything <laughs> nah. I do, I, I, I apologize right in the moment. But you don't know you do it. I just said it. You didn't know you did it. Nah, nigga. Oh my see? god, this really is like a therapy session. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. like... You see what Pusha T do to nigga? All I said was, yo, niggas not. I know. Like, oh, oh, that... gas. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I got gas. My fault, my fault, my fault. My fault. <laughs> that was good, though. Say, Rosa, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> like, what the... No, and then Pierre was like, gaslighting me. He was like, what you talking about? I learned this I in therapy. I hate these buzzwords. I That's miss not both. a buzzword. <laughs> gaslighting is not a buzzword? Not in this scenario. I don't in use general? it loosely. I think so. But I, I meant that shit. <laughs> You're right. I gaslight so much, bro. I've done that so many times in my life. Oh, oh, you're an expert. So I know oh, what it's like to be hit with clearly. that bullshit. But I don't do nothing on purpose. So I was like, oh, shit, that's what I said? My bad. Hey, I'm done, y'all. Leave it in the comments. If you, <laughs> if you reply uh, to Drake, it won't be as impactful. And right? we know that, right? Right, Sam? <laughs> Yo, man, these niggas on it. Uh, <laughs> once like, again, my topic hits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where we go from there. <laughs> nah, we stay in the music. We stay in the music. We stay in the music. Right, we stay in the music. We stay in the music. Um, Lil Baby. Uh-huh. Is Lil Baby beating off the falling off uh, allegations? Is he beating? <laughs> <laughs> beating off the falling off. You kind of caught, caught oh, me shit. off guard. I was like, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Beat where off where the fall off. That's what I said? Is he doing what? Episode title. Oh, mm. shit. Is Lil Baby falling off? Or, no, we know that already. <laughs> See, you done fucked me up already. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what I'm gonna say, I'm a Galvin. Like, what the fuck? You gotta rethink everything. You gotta rethink what I'm fact, saying fact. and shit now. P, I'm like, what? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Um, Lil Baby, mm-hmm. all right, for the last two years. Fuck that. Like, Lil Baby's had a run for the last four to five years. Yeah. A really high run. Like, it was some people even comparing this dude to Lil Wayne. And I laughed mm-hmm. at y'all niggas. Mm-hmm. Cause we grew up for Lil Wayne and we saw what the mixtape ever looked like and we saw what the single run looked like and we saw what the Carters did in terms of numbers and impact. Yeah. Anyway, for the kids, I get it. They all need somebody they can uh they can hail and hey, this is our guy like for the, the generation. Next guy, yeah, yeah. I get it completely. <clears throat> um for the last, I guess I'll say two years, fans haven't really understood a lot of baby's music. Um, and I wanted to bring up to you guys if did he pull um like an overseas move. Like, do you just go overseas when shit is not working out for and you? And get popping again? And get popping again? I do remember. That's what Neo did. <clears throat> he did. Did he? What? <laughs> I don't know. He just started making fist bump and shit. Yeah. <laughs> did he? he called yeah. no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no that ass. That's what artists do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even like trying what, to... Was that Neo? Yeah, but just artists in general. A lot of them, like, they quote unquote cross over when they try to go get a Euro bag. No, because... but Neo has always kind of made music like that, no? In that vein? Yeah, yeah. he let, has. Let I, think once, like that. I think once it's slowed down for him. Okay. He, he was like, let me go make that left because the thing about the exactly. European artists is they appreciate our artists more than exactly. we do. Yeah. So the longevity of the career is mm-hmm. extended mm-hmm. when you tap into those markets, when you tap into Europe, when you tap into Africa and Brazil, like all of these other countries and continents, they appreciate our artists way more than we appreciate them. Mm-hmm. So fact. I'm not even mad at Lil Baby, maybe feeling like he needed to take this approach because Central C, he's tough right now. He's hot right now. For sure. And it makes sense. And they, they sound good together too. They do sound together. They sound really and good I, together I too. I thought he was going to stop there and Instead of going to London, he went right to uh, my guy, Byron Messiah. Ooh. And I'm like, okay, cool. We kind of hearing Baby on a UK joint. We hearing Baby on a on a reggae type song. And it looked like the, the Central Sea song charted. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I know that's something Baby has probably been looking for in terms of like how he sells. Like he's we used go to band for band. Uh, that we, we go band for band. We go for M. M. That's look. <laughs> sounded good. And not with a factory rims. Sounded good. No funny shit. Mm-hmm. Sounded good. You feel me? So I think all artists definitely need to take oh, that approach. He's like, he's like, okay, I, I think, think a pivoting. big, a big critique of his yeah. was okay. So around like from 2018 to 2020, he was like on top of the world. Which That's Alex right. like said, he. I remember people yeah. being like, oh my god, he's the one. He's the next Drake. He's the one, he's like the one. he had the numbers. He had my turn, my turn deluxe, the voice of the hero. So he like was touching the people. Like yeah. he had that, and then people noticed like in the next few years, like okay, we're kind of tired of this. And the biggest critique was like, yo, you kind of make like the same song over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. So what he's doing repetitive. now, I do think he's like kind of like listening to that and he's diversifying himself. I, I can hear it too. Oh, like, so yeah, that's first, what he's doing. At yeah. first, I thought he was kind of just experimenting with Central C. But when he did the Byron mm-hmm. Messiah, I'm like, okay, cool. 
You're trying to touch every genre. You're trying to have a J. Cole run? Like, what you And also, but the, <laughs> but the, both songs sound really good. They do. Yeah. They do. And it's it's going to get you more fans, most importantly. Mm -hmm. Like, or get your fans to appreciate you again. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, okay, cool. Like, you linking up with an artist that's doing relatively well. Mm -hmm. You in that vein. And I think it's making Baby kind of step up more. And I think in about a year's time, he could be back on top. Mm. You, know? you think you think he outgrew rap? Like the like the quintessential rap. I think no, I think he's still yeah. rapping. I think still his rapping. sound just hasn't really evolved. Yeah, I think got mundane. Okay. I think his sound hasn't evolved, and I think rappers are making a lot of money right now. And when you're making that much money, you got so many different moving parts. Mm -hmm. I think it's tough for you to worry about the art, and I think it's affecting his art. God, personally, that's what it sounds like because he's super yeah. talented. Like we we know what Lil Baby does, mm -hmm. but and I also think there's a performance aspect that. Some artists actually need to perform. Some artists actually need to have a live performance. And like you, it goes hand in hand for some artists. Like <clears throat> a um, like Future. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think he needs to ever tour because his music is that impactful. I think his voice mm -hmm. is such an instrument, and we've heard him on so many different songs, so many different cadences. He's like the creator of this shit. Mm -hmm. But someone as a, a little baby. I think from what I've seen, he isn't the greatest performer. He got hits, he got songs, but it also, his music is dated. Future, I, his music doesn't sound dated. It's for very the most classic. Part. You're it's talking classic. about Baby? Yeah. Lil Baby, I think his music hmm. sounds a bit dated and he so, hasn't been like able to. Like 2018. In comparison to himself? In comparison, yeah, to himself and I'm his peers. Good. Like, oh. Gunna is able to create music that applies to today. Even with the snitching allegations and how people may feel about him personally, his music is what transcends him to being relevant today. Hey, I'm glad you said that because uh, I think uh, Gunna ended his tour in Atlanta. Mm. Oh. And I saw clips of that. Yeah. I saw clips of the crowd. I saw <laughs> clips of the people. Should I even seen Young Thug's father in attendance? Yeah. Front row. Front row. Yeah. And I wanted to say, y'all niggas is lying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, they are fucking with Gunna. And it was interesting to kind of see it there because I remember um, when he first got out or when he did his first few shows, he did one in New York, he did one in LA. And I guess that kind of appeases like business, right? Because there's a lot of money in LA, there's a lot of money in New York, it makes sense, cool. And they're not like directly involved. And they're not directly involved yeah. with whatever you got going or, or necessarily could care, right? They just love you for who you are. To see him sell, sell out in Atlanta the way he did, and when niggas said he's a rat, he's not good in his city, he not this, he not that. I think all of that has dissolved. Mm -hmm. I think he, I think I see more and more rappers embracing him. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm seeing birthday shout outs from, from other, from other rappers talking to him and shit. Like they're, they look like they're being more opening uh, to, you know, just ingratiating him back in with open arms. I think like once they see other people do it, they're yeah. like, okay, it's, it's, it's okay now if I like him again. Yeah. I saw a sign in the concert. This might not be word for word, but it was literally like a big ass sign on mm -hmm. like the Jumbotron, like, welcome back to Atlanta, Gunner, or some shit like that. Yeah, I was yeah. like, damn. Like, damn, I thought the city of Atlanta was against him. Nah. But even lying? In a city like Atlanta, everyone is so connected. Mm -hmm. They know the truth. Mm -hmm. Everybody is so tapped in with what's going on in Atlanta is so when you see him being embraced in this way it tells me oh he, he clearly whatever allegations was on him it must be fine to some degree because we literally see young yeah. thug's father embracing <laughs> him supporting him as public as it can get front row at his show yeah right and i want to shout out 50 cent because 50 he's one of the most like poetic people in my opinion just his interviews if you really tap in if you really listen because now it hurts somebody like a little baby. Now it hurts some of the people, the little dirks. A lot of the people who outwardly unfollow Gunna, mm -hmm. a lot of the people who um, didn't support Gunna, a lot of people who diss Gunna. Now Gunna's up. If we're talking about those yeah, three sure. in particular, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, and Gunna, out of those three musically, Gunna has been the hottest over the last year. Yeah, I think a lot of people also mm -hmm. said the same thing about Lil Dirk. Like, He's looking a little cold for Dirk these days. Like, I don't know what's going like on. Music -wise. He's little like bit, lukewarm, bro. Well, it's it's lukewarm. Lukewarm. It's lukewarm. It's lukewarm. It ain't what it used to be. Right, right, and right. Baby and Dirk, they yeah. were the, being a compa uh, being compared to Lil Wayne's and Drake's and all these other guys, right? The mm -hmm. elder statesmen. But when they, and I don't want to say they diss gonna, but when they. I, I do. They did. 
They dissed him. Yeah, they dissed him. All right. They just kind of. <laughs> maybe I missed the actual diss. I just know they unfollowed him and stopped fucking with him. Yeah, but if they, did, if they diss Gunna, now Gunna's the one. You might need Gunna for your next hit. It's funny you say that. I think Lil Baby took a page out of Gunna's book. Uh, you guys ever heard that song by Victor Thompson and Gunna? Everything you've been wanting, manifesting for your love. You never heard that shit? I never Everything. heard that one. You never Blessing. heard Gunna on the Afro beat? Blessing. Protect the money and then follow, follow, follow. You, you, have you heard that part? Nah, nah, that was <laughs> that's kind of like your Bob, though. I'm not nah, saying I'm just, I'm yeah, just like your Bob, <laughs> that was like an Afro beat type of vibe, yeah, mm-hmm. right. And he that was one of the first songs when he first put out the first album. We got back, remember? <gasps> Ghana has been on a bunch of Afro beats, you songs. see what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. And he realized, okay, cool, if you guys not accepting me again, this is to the little baby point, if you're not, if you're not accepting me, I'm gonna go over there. Because mm-hmm. I know they're going to be. Right? Oh, I'm appreciating. Full circle. Well, I'm, I'm literally appreciating. just realizing. Full circle. Back to my point about 50 Cent. 50 Cent always says <clears throat> when people are beefing internally, like when Birdman and Lil Wayne had their issues about contract disputes and Baby apparently, and let me not say Baby, but Birdman apparently not paying Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. And people would ask him about it at that time. He says, look, that's none of my business. What I think, it doesn't matter because those are internal affairs. That was a family. That's a father. That's a son. And everybody that's commenting and putting their input on it now, they're going to remember that. And when they make up, you're going to look like the fool because you chose sides, because you just won. They're family, right? Yeah. And so when I see a little dirt and when I see a little baby publicly diss Gunna, you probably should have just stood out of that because clearly Gunna and Young Thug they they on some kind of good terms. The family's on that? good terms. Do we know that? The pops the, on the good terms. The father's on, I, I think it right. says there isn't and no smoke at I, the very least. But we don't know the relationship right, between right. Thug and his, his dad. dad yeah. We do know that Gunna is still signed to Young Thug. So anything that Gunna puts out would behoove the label, would behoove Young Thug. And I think, you know, his father's a mature guy. Like He's older than us. So I don't, mm-hmm. even if there is some tiff, if there is some beef and he spat between the two of them. I'm sure his father is on some shit where it's like, yo, dog, I'm doing shit that's going to make sense for you, even mm-hmm. if you don't like it and you locked up in there. Because I ain't going to lie. I remember when Young Thug put out that album and it was featuring Drake and a few cats. And it was some it was some sneak, sneak disses for Gunna on that shit. Now, mm-hmm. gr- granted, that was a very long time ago, probably over a year ago. So I don't know if the relationship has changed since then. But you're right. When Thugger gets home, we'll kind of see how everybody uh, is in yeah, uh, the mostly. temperament. Wow. Yeah. So, like... Gonna when people really thought it was over for him, and you know it was a little bit dramatic, say. but like I'm really still stuck on like, yes. oh my god, he really did do a lot of diverse features. Yes, yo, honestly, that's what I'm paying attention if to. Baby Lil, if Lil Baby does that, it like might work. That's like, what he I'm saying. really might be back on top because look at what happened to Gunna. So he dodged allegations. Mm. He dodged allegations. I like that. Fuck it, can't beat him. Join him. <laughs> and I like little baby, so I'm, I'm wishing him the best. I, I mean, hope he pulls it off. Me as well. I mean, I love a good comeback. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, are oh, there some people that you just know or think can't come back? Uh, like it's over artists? for them. Like it's just over. Uh, Danny Lay. What? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you I not think that. so? I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't. As know. long as I got breath. She's gonna get support. Oh, she's gonna get support. What's your favorite song? Now listen to me. This is the one with Chris Brown. What's your favorite song? No, name three. Name three. Danny Lay songs. The one with Chris Brown. Name three. No, name four. Danny Lay songs. Four, three, four. All right. Um, easy. Right. Okay. Really easy. Easy. That was the Chris Brown one. All right. The version without Chris Brown. Give me a hard one. Stop it. Now give me a hard one. Nah, that's easy to remix and easy to regular. Give me a hard one then. And then um, you know the other shit. (laughs) She got shit to go Exactly. Craving. Yeah, this ain't the time to help. She got situ. You don't know that one. This ain't the time to help you. Yeah, nah, but yeah, I think her career gonna be just fine. How is you don't know no music? You don't know no music. You ain't been to none of her shows, but she gonna be just fine. Nah, she been fighting demons. Yeah. Oh my she goodness. Fighting demons. She got dead to me. She yeah. got Hennessy. Heartbreaker. She got cat. All that. You're yeah. looking it up right Y'all now. Y'all remember that? Nah, I remember that. That was the latest album, 2022. I'm kidding. I'm, I don't know. I'm not like wishing for a downfall, but I no, mean no, that no, just no. came to mind. I don't know. I feel like she hasn't navigated. Uh, there were a lot of things working against her at oh, for once, sure. yeah. especially like the the baby relationship, like a lot yeah. of things that like she just was going through. Right. It's not like I'm rooting for her to fail, mm-hmm. but it's like I just I don't know. Like it wasn't played out. Like really well, and mm. I don't know. It's been a few years since then, so if she does another like good feature, mm. I can think she. I think she's gonna come back. She's gonna okay. Come back. It's gonna fuck I me hope up, so. Man. I mean, I hope so. I want like I wish the best for anybody. So and too, she seems like she's uh, just being more focused as a mom at the moment. Mm-hmm. But you know, she has been out and about and doing things. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna throw a name out there. And to Reggie's point, 
I don't see nobody do bad. If anything, I love these people and I came up on these people. But like Reggie was implying, I'm noticing something. I'm seeing how these people are being received now. Hmm. Even with however I revere them. Like I'm just seeing how they... Anyway, Big Sean. <gasps> Take that back. It's my dog. I love Big Sean so Yo, much. Yo, Big Sean dropped a whole rebuttal to the big three. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Wait, yes. Yeah, yeah. While, while, they were, yeah. while they were being No, no, I remember like people were making fun of him like, yo, your timing is yeah. just always remember, off. Like, his, no, he did. Yes. Had the, he had the abs. Remember that? So now you I see. I remember his abs. So now you see what I've I'm, never seen. Him. It was the album. It was the. <laughs> That's that's what he used to lead the whole thing, but it didn't work. <laughs> like, he he had the shirt off and shit. He had some words. He referenced the big this. yeah. He referenced the big three on that song. That's what I was saying with Pusha T, right? Like it's just, it's just certain. It's just certain. Alex. It's just certain. Oh, no, no. It's just certain people who who are gonna and you know insert themselves in the thing. And people won't care as much. <laughs> that's all I was saying. <laughs> they was just, uh, and that's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been the prime time and for Kendrick and Drake to get at him. But, I, Drake said it was a 20v1 and then named Sean. <laughs> what did Sean say to, about Drake? You got to play. It's called precision, I think. You got to hear it. Was he, hear it. Was he going at mm -hmm. them or was he more just bigging up himself? He referenced it. But, okay, 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 okay. but Drake and J. Cole bigged up themselves on first person shooter. Yeah. And okay. Kendrick ain't like that. Okay. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Hey. He's shooting too. Look. It's guns out. <laughs> Nobody getting hit. <laughs> Shots just that fly. was a good joke. That was a good joke. Wait. I want to appreciate that. Pew, pew. The song called, <laughs> song called Precision. Not a bullet landed. Damn, I don't know where it's at. It's in there, though. Oh, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> Wait, I just want to repeat Wait, what Alex I mean, said. Yeah. You know how, like, Big Sean was like, pew, pew, pew. Like, he was shooting, and then he was like, oh, you're shooting. But nobody getting hit. <laughs> I just really appreciated that. He was just sending shots. Nobody got hit. Nobody ducked for cover. Like, Look, I'm shooting, y'all. Nobody ducked for cover. Call oh, that nigga Will Smith. This is <laughs> Mike Lowry. No shot. This is saying Big Sean that made control with Kendrick Lamar. Oh like my this, we, we knew we knew Big Sean to be involved in the. We don't. That's my don't, point. Oh, so I hate when we people don't. Don't rewrite <laughs> rewrite history in uh -oh, terms of Big uh -oh. Sean. We got. No, I don't like it. No, I, I fuck with Big Sean, but like, there's almost nothing he could have done to make himself relevant in this arena. That, yeah, I guess that's why that's I was what I'm up. saying. Yeah. It was the timing, too. Like, trying to compare Big Show and the Pusha T in this particular arena, Moving I don't goal think goals. it applies. I think it was a phenomenal joke by you. Kudos. I see, I see what you did there. It was a great shot. You, you landed. You actually slam dunked that bitch in. My man. So, shout out to you, but I don't think it applies. Who got a no, bigger fan wait, base? Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Who got a bigger fan I'm base? I'm triggered. Wait, Big wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It's closer than you think? I know. I want you to answer. Wait, I'm know. asking why. What are you saying doesn't land? Because he, you asked like, oh, whose career like won't come back? And he said Big Sean. Are you saying that didn't land? No, I was saying no, no. That that's if oh, that's, okay, his, okay, that's okay, okay. if that's what he thinks, yeah. then mm -hmm. that's what he thinks. I'm right. saying the comparison, like, oh, mm -hmm. his shot at Drake and the guys <laughs> didn't land just like Pusha T's uh -huh. wouldn't land. I'm just, but oh. it's very different because there's history with Pusha T. Why I think that's gonna put a magnifying glass on anything that he has to say about Drake compared to Big Sean. Push that's got what a, I'm saying. Push that's what big, I'm saying, and I'm leaving it right there. Pusha T got a bigger fan base than Rick Ross. Pierre. Yeah. <laughs> How do we shut this down? Does Pusha T, <laughs> Pusha T got a bigger fan base than the Rick boys Ross? Are, the boys are fighting. So this is, this so is, Pusha T got a bigger fan base than Rick Ross. I would say yeah. Pierre. <laughs> How do we deal so, with this period? So, so sum this all up. I learned in therapy. Everybody, therapy. everybody, male and female, we listen through different filters. <laughs> this is true. So you could be saying <laughs> something, uh huh, and understanding and, it differently, right? Okay. So that's what's going on here. But uh, I oh think at God. some point they'll understand so each other. You're so, the ultimate gaslighter, and no, I love this. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Big Sean, Rick okay. Ross, they got none, none of them have the history. 
but as the Pusha T and Drake thing. I think that, that, that I think that variable is what gives him Rick the Ross, magnifying glass. Rick Ross had immense history yeah. not with Drake. Yeah, as being friends, not, as, now, not as being rivals. And he took it to, but not there. as being rivals. But, but he took it to he the... He didn't reveal that I, he had a fucking child. Can I tell Do you, you understand what kind of card that is? Rick that Ross, is a big joke in all of this. So nobody that you name has anything like that in a tuck for Push It like Push It T had. Nobody. You can name the biggest rapper you want right now. It's not going to change how I feel, bro. That history that they have is is different. So you keep thinking Rick Ross, and you keep thinking <laughs> fucking Push T and Metro Boomin, all these other niggas that you want to name. It don't matter because Push did will Push did, nigga. Like you know what he do. <laughs> <laughs> so Rick Ross, right? <laughs> Oh Rick Ross, right? I'm not doing this with you. you Let's not. talk some hee hee <laughs> jokes, bro. We oh, got a whole comedy I'm list. Just saying, I'm just saying. I want to know what makes you laugh. I'm just That's saying. Rick Ross me, put like, out champagne moments. I just wa- and he took it to the point where they was rivals. That's what that was with the exam. I waited. I let you cook. There's no history, and here. nobody cared. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He put out a whole diss track, and nobody cared. Why? Oh, because wow. there was other uh, shit going on. Mm-hmm. The, the heavyweight was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. cool. Wouldn't you consider Pusha exactly. T a heavyweight? Yeah. Wouldn't you consider Rick Ross a heavyweight? Not in this arena, no. Rick Ross and Pusha T are not in the same class when it comes to rap? I don't think in <laughs> conjunction with dissing Drake, uh, it does not matter. I bet. Because of the history of Pusha T revealing that he had a fucking child and made but him what tap if, out of a beat. But what about the history? That, but, that history alone, that point this. alone disqualifies any other newcomers in this beef mm. that isn't Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole. But history is history, right? Anybody outside of that, it doesn't matter. Kanye West. <laughs> but Kanye, let's talk about Kanye. Let's, let, let's take your point because you right. want to stick on this fan base shit, right? No, 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 no. So I'm just saying, I'm just, Kanye even Kanye West. I'm no, just no, saying history. I heard enough. I'm just saying history. You. But no, 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 I'm answering directly to what, what you're that? saying and you're not answering me. I'm just answering what you're saying. History is history, correct? Correct. Okay, so Pusha T's history with Drake yeah. was some tumultuous shit, right? Drake's history with Rick Ross was with somebody that he's really close with and made great music with, right? Mm-hmm. There's an argument to be made on both sides that they both had history with each other, and then Rick Ross took it to beef. You didn't listen to what I just said. Mm-hmm. I, because I acknowledge that. What I'm saying yeah. is yeah. the history is different. Pusha T I revealing know. that he had a child yeah. is very different than them being friends and then not being friends for whatever the reason may be. Right. It's very different. But some would say, you know, my friend just switched up on me. That's deep. It's I'm not, just saying, it's, it's different across bigger, the board. It's not bigger than the person revealing that the biggest rapper in the world had a child before he was able to. God, that I'm with card you. alone is I'm something that trumps all. I'm with it, you. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not denying the history, but Kanye West. Kanye West has one of the biggest magnifying glasses on him in hip hop and rap. He has tried to insert himself so many mm-hmm. times in his Drake shit, nobody so cares. many different ways, and nobody gives a fuck. And that is Kanye West. But doesn't he have history with Drake and they got He beef? does. But I'm saying the one thing that is the Pusha kid T is the, has, I know what you're saying it's the kid thing. I know. I and not that. just the kid thing, but they he tapped out of the rap beef. After Pusha T dropped the diss song. We've never heard him acknowledge Pusha T again. The one time we thought he acknowledged Pusha T was Mob Ties. And we didn't even, he didn't even write the shit, apparently. Damn. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You keep trying to couple Pusha T with all these other guys and all these because other rappers. They're but they're similar. He, but they're I, not. They're similar in what? what in saying. the album sales? They're similar album in what? Sales, their career, popularity, you know, they're not impact. Similar. They're not similar because he's the one person that's got a one-up on Drake I've given outside that. of Kendrick Lamar. I've given that to you. So he's in rare air when it comes to this arena. So when you keep mentioning Big Sean and when you keep mentioning all these other people, it, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't equate to the to same you. thing. To nobody. No, that's no, no, no. invested in this shit. No, 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 to you, because I saw people go, yo, why the fuck is Rick Rose beefing with Drake? They have so much history. Yo, what the f-? Like, we've seen that, but to you, I understand it. Like, you're right. To you, I have, I can't negate anything you just said. I can't negate nothing you just said. To you. But to other people, they're going to put push to you. In. Yeah, well, to me. Yeah, well, right, so to me people. and to you. Well, yeah, to so other people on us. To me, I'm going to group niggas like Rick Ross and Pusha T together. Especially when they've done music together, like they would assume that they're also in the same uh, like air, right? If they're doing music together, if it's- when they both say that they're both in the same air, that's all I'm saying. I know the kid. I know I get it. I'm just saying sometimes when people say things, it's the messenger. Great pod today, man. Y'all niggas. <laughs> y'all, y'all, are, y'all are great, man. Woo!
Wow. Wow. We tell. Leave it in the comments. He said great. He said great. He was like, grandpa. Like, yeah, like, y'all y'all, 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 y'all dropped the mic on me. Y'all killing. Like, y'all killing. Y'all killing. Y'all killing. <laughs> Yeah. This guy is crazy, man. Do you yeah. want to get into some funnies? Do you want to talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. lists that are actually like substantial that we can actually talk to? <laughs> Do you want to talk about things that aren't I hypothetical love how, for once? like we moved on <laughs> from the Pusha T Kendrick thing, <laughs> and then in ten minutes later, yes. Alex was like, "Actually, I'm not done." Big Sean. <laughs> oh, like, oh, you Big found Sean. some way to like relate Big Sean with like, Pusha T, and then what no, no, and then Savon took the bait and yeah. you guys reopened it. Stop, <laughs> Savon was over there fuming. That was that was a good tactic. <laughs> That I loved it. That's my guy. Time. I know what to uh, do. <laughs> do you guys think you guys are petty? No. But I ain't gonna lie. When he start being petty first, I turn my shoes. I, no, no, no. I don't, yep. Yo, your, your delivery yep. a little bit. I do yep. agree that yep. overall, guys, anybody, yep. Alex is not a petty person. Yeah, He's a very, like, level mm-hmm. But if you take me No, no, no. But it, if you, cool. your you're delivery a little bit during this argument was a little petty. My fault. Al, you're, you're like, oh, Savon. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was petty like, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the funny, yo. <laughs> the funny shit is when I was talking about people who like need to make a comeback. I wasn't even talking about music. I was gonna oh. say Jonathan Majors. Oh, I was just gonna we're talking about anywhere. music. We thought you, but, I, but it's fine. We 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 can keep it there because it, it worked and it works. Um, Complex. They released a list of some of the funniest people on the internet. Mm-hmm. I was not familiar with half of this list, uh, so y'all may have to like say more. Yeah, I got you. Come I'll, on, bro. What you mean? What do you mean? You're an internet you baby. Know them, you should you know them. Who is Curvo Dolo? That's that's big. That's oh, big yeah. Now I'm with him. <laughs> now, I'll tell you. Curvo Dolo, he does a lot of like... Oh, yo, you know oh how, shit, like, he knows. I, yeah, I got you. Oh, shit. You know how like the, the Caribbean massive, um, they all have a bunch of different like... Par- I gotta see his face. Parody stuff. He's Haitian. They call him Curvo Dolo? Curvo Dolo. He's Haitian. He, he got a lot of like Haitian... It, it's like it's all Haitian comedy. Speaking Creole. Oh, I know him. How yeah, parents like, I, are with kids. I can't do it. Yeah, he's talking Haitian. Yeah, yeah. Creole. Come on, come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. I don't know a lot of other people. Who, who's Creole, New York Nay? And I'm not saying she's that he's just... I'm, I'm literally just... I don't know. Nick, I, I gotta look up. I know niggas by face. She's a New York comedian. She they um, Your NYC features her a lot. She does like a, a bunch of like New York oh, um, Pierre, comedy. Pierre is our comedian. Who is Phantom? Fan- oh no, nah, he do streaming Fantasy. with Casa Yeah, he's a okay. part of A. In the AMP joint, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zoe Spencer, she she runs with them. Yeah, she runs run with them. them. Uh, and maybe this is why I'm not. Familiar. And again, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to like diss none of these people. Dude. I I I was confused when I saw the list. That's you know, I mean. you, you know Trey. No. Oh my God. Nigga, I know Trey Young. <laughs> Trey, Trey Song. Trey Song. Look at your Trey. Nasty nigga. <laughs> Yo. So, I know, nigga. so Trey, Trey is also another, obviously, comedian, but he does like a bunch of like, um, not sketch, but like uh, cartoon um, okay. comedic, uh, cartoon comedic stuff. And then he also does like in-person online type stuff. It's funny. His stuff is actually really funny. Mm-hmm. He's, He's not even on the list. Now he is number four. Number oh, four. Yeah. This guy. This guy. Tra- uh, Trey you Rance. know his face? Oh, yeah. I've seen him Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him on Twitter a lot. <laughs> yeah. Also, just from an editorial standpoint, I just know how these meetings go and like who, like yeah. the ideas, how these like come about. This is a great idea complex. I have to give it to you. Like yeah. the funniest people on the internet, like making a full list like this. Mm-hmm. It's very, I like it. And it says funniest people, correct? Mm-hmm. So you could have any task online. Like I saw uh, mm-hmm. Cam and Mace were yes, featured. funniest people. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. funniest people. Mm-hmm. Like just, you just have to be on the internet. And I don't agree with all the all the. I want to I want to talk about the niggas I know. Okay. <laughs> I was, there, know. was there like a rubric? Or was there like a requirement? I don't know, but Drewski being number one that sat right with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. For Drewski sure. being on this list, he was number one for sure. Um, Theo Vaughn, shout out to Big Theo Vaughn. He was number five, top five. I I, I agree with that. Right after the five. All right, Desi I, Banks. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, hold on. I'm glad you said Desi Banks. I, I think we're gonna say the same I, thing. I, I think I've <laughs> never laughed at anything Desi Banks has ever done. No, I don't nope. get it. I don't see it. Yo, like, <laughs> like his skits. Damn, he is, you find him funny? Yeah, I tell goddamn. You. She. But the, he do the white air forces and the black air forces and the difference. Goddamn, I'm motherfucker scut my shit like. <laughs> He was number eight, and he was mad that he was number eight. He thought he should have been higher. You want to know what gets me? See, you're automatically eliminated. This is a funny list. You're supposed to be funny, nigga. You wasn't supposed to react in a mad way. I would take Ben out of there. Fuck wrong with you, bro. Oh, him, you saying. Him oh, being yeah. upset. Yeah, him got being it, upset. Got it, got it. Oh, yeah, Ben to Don at two, I do not that's, agree that's with. That's tough. Yeah, Salute to him. Ben yeah. to Don been running around with Drake. I get it. He been running around with Drewski as well. OBJ, he... First started with OBJ. I get mm-hmm. it. He has cool skits that he does, but yeah, um, I don't know any. I, I honestly, I, I regret bringing this topic up. 
It's because you be at work. You be at HBO all day. Because I don't know who none of these dudes, <laughs> none of these ladies are. You want to know what it is? Sometimes it's about face. They can't be... I don't want to We got to change your algorithm. Wait, wait. You don't got enough funny shit on your shit, Is nigga. Savon getting old? Yo. Uh, yeah. He get... I've been that, though. I'm old. Oh. But you... It's crazy how Pierre's older, but he knows all these internet nah, kids. That's yeah, like, that's, so, that's crazy. Right, hold on. Don't put AARP on my jacket. Like, I'm, not, I'm not that old. Like, come uh, like 85 are... South. I know, obviously, I know 85 South. Shout out to them. Like, yeah. they killing shit. Yeah, nigga. They're hilarious, by the way. <laughs> you better know 85 and South. He, even some of the people like that I'm familiar with, I may not <laughs> think they're, quote, unquote, the funniest. Mm -hmm. But I know their face. There's some people I don't even know who these people are. Like I'm not on the internet or some like shit. Who? Like, what the fuck is up with me? You know Malik B. We got you. Nah. Yeah, he be he be um I like him. Yeah, I don't he know. does the skits where he, they you know you run into your old thing when you in a party or some shit and you kind of mac up on some Damn. fuck boy shit. I know Kayla Presley. Yeah. Shout out to Kayla Presley. I think he's mm -hmm. funny. He does great work. You know Kayla Presley? Sound like a white. I don't know. Wait, show him the picture. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. I see the nigga face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, I'm a face guy. I see the nigga. Face. You know him. You know him. Oh, I know him. Yeah, he does. Barstool. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, if this was 20 years name. ago, number one would have been Shiggy. Yo. Damn. They didn't even feature Shiggy. Did oh, you say my... 20 years? Yeah. What? Nah. Did you say nah. this no, was I said 20 this, years no, ago? No, no. I said it. This was a few years ago. That's what I said. Oh, I heard. Rewind, guys. That's what I said. I Oh. You gaslighting? You Stop bringing it up! No, 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 Oh, no, I'm trying to ride with Savon. We were both on the same side of the... No, no, no. We can rock together. We can't rock together. I remember Shiggy's skit. Do you guys remember like when there was like a like a glass storefront and there was a bodega cat and he was like, I'm going to get you out of there. <laughs> <laughs> he was going mad hard. But you know the recent joint? Yabba Dabba Doo. Casa Papa. Oh, yes. But that was like his one his like comeback. really mega skit in like yeah. a whole like two years. It's been a while. Like, it's been a while. We love Shiggy though. A lot of those guys. I don't know. I don't know what a lot of those guys. A lot of them yeah. are losing too much weight. Ozempic is really uh, taking the funny out of some some of these guys. Like who? Because a lot of my guys that good. used to really be funny, they got on that Ozempic, <laughs> and it's like the you piss out the funny when you want it. <laughs> no, you don't. You piss out all your greatness when you get on Ozempic. I'm I'm dead at like really? think about think about all the Ozempic people, folks, <laughs> the people who participate in them. Ozempic. Right. I'm not gonna say just Ozempic. I'm gonna say people who lost weight. But Jonah Hill, you know, he used to be a lot sillier. Nah, we, yeah, we got to put a cheeseburger in that nigga. I ain't going to lie. Nah, because... I can't do that to Jonah Nah, we got to put like a, nah. a bacon cheeseburger like he's still, in that He's still amazing, but he definitely shit. used to be like like goofier when yeah. he was like chubby. This men's mental health. Jonah has oh, been shit. on file he saying did? how his weight has mm -hmm. really messed with his, oh, he did? his depression and anxiety. Oh, shit. I'm not, and I don't he think did? it's Ozempic for him. I That's think, why I didn't... That's I think why I was he like, just yeah. do the white what? actor shit. But I saw how he was stalking his little girlfriend. Him, him oh fasting on losing his mind. He did that? Yeah. He stalked his girl? He stalked his girl, yeah. Damn. He has some shit like that. You know, he need to put some stomach back in his belly. <laughs> nah, stomach, stomach you ever lost your girl? Yeah. No, nah, never mind. You ever lost your girl yeah. and lost weight? <laughs> Yeah. It's a sky blue. blue. Right, that's it's probably... a sky blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what he's going through. So uh, I'm so glad that when I'm sad, I'm like a... Like, I definitely do lose weight as well when I'm like really sad. I'm so glad it's not the other way around because people sometimes eat when they're sad and mm. then they get fat. Get big. Do you, Damn. Do you, do you binge drink when you get sad? Like, when you go through a heartbreak? There was a time where like... um. I went through a really bad breakup. I do think I was doing the stereotypical, like, going out, like, trying to, like, distract myself. You tried thing. to fuck the pain away? <laughs> he was waiting for that. No way. That delivery wasn't good. Yo, you didn't say confidently. He, 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 like, he, like, threw it up. Threw up like, fat. You get fat. <laughs> you get fat. <laughs> uh, you ain't got to answer that. Nah, yeah, but I played the fit. I played the fit. I played the fit. Hmm? <laughs> nah, I just, I just, <laughs> and you should be on this list. Hmm? I think Aww. at some point we should get you on this list. Man. Right. I think we That's need to put, position to put, you, <laughs> put you on this funny man list. You are, you are so you're, funny, Alex. You're a funny guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. You're a but, funny guy. Look, thank you. I love y'all, but real, look at you. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you, you get <it>. funny. <laughs> but I don't know if he'll be appreciated because he's more. He's only funny. Not only funny. He's funny. Hey, 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 listen hey, to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. In conversation, he doesn't do like skits and shit like that. So you gotta do the need to know skits. I bet say that. You should start with the ethnic. 
That shit would be nah, kind of. I don't do skits. You don't do, why you don't do skits? Like, now you too cool. I, you want to be a, you now want you to be a too cool. Man. You not be. you not too cool. You good because you got some patent leather Jordans uh, on the day. You can't do shit like that. I don't want to be a lesbian no more. <laughs> what? You was one before. It's thespian, oh, say Ron, thespian. not less. I'm not a thespian. <laughs> what? what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I just want to say, it's a BM, so I thought, I don't want to be that no more, so I don't want to do skits. You know, wait, just, just a little quick oh, shout out, because, you know, white, oh, people, white people who are funny, Theo Vaughn, yeah, what I really Vaughn. respect yeah, yeah. is that he he doesn't care mm-hmm. about being canceled, mm-hmm. so he says the most, like, racist, problematic things, but because of that, he'll never be canceled, because he just says, like, what, whatever, I, 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 like he'll he'll say stupid shit. Up. Like he'll be like, "Wait, what?" I need to check some Theo Vaughn shit out. Like it you comes, don't, you don't. Yeah. It, like I'm it dabbing, comes out but genuine. I yeah, like I I haven't seen enough to see what his like. You know when you watch Funny Marco, uh-huh. or you was watching Bobby Altoff, like mm-hmm. you, you picked on quickly on what it was. Oh, but not really. Yeah, I haven't really picked it up with him. Yeah, I'm trying He's to. So, yeah. like, like he'll be like, he'll say just whatever's on. It. He'll be like. Why do you sound like that? Is it because you're like Chinese? Like he'll he'll say, say shit. It. Yeah, but like I respect that because yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet. Yep. I don't know if I'll ever be because I mm. I don't want to be canceled. Okay. That's right. Like I I don't want to <laughs> be like that, but I respect that. But like, it's the same token. Yeah, I like yeah. my racism in front of me. So I'm a, like don't hide that shit. I'm gonna try and find mm-hmm. a clip. Let's see if this works. Mm-hmm. Hold up. That's the one with Drewski? The Steel Vaughn? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Yeah, this is this is oh he's with a fan right now. Okay, with a I don't fan. have Down syndrome, but I'm willing to have it if I if I need to have it. And uh, this is my dog right here. So happy Down Syndrome Awareness Day uh, from me and Simon. Twenty one pineapple. Until you. Yeah, I don't have Down Syndrome, but he did I'm one with Drewski. So he did that. stuff like that. And then Tism fucking like, blonders, uh, baby. These are just Tism blonders, dog. They see me Tism. <laughs> they hate it, Bruh. <laughs> Knock knock, who's there? Autism. Burn, burn, burn. What? That's his like brand of humor. <laughs> Not here. He has a really funny one with Drewski because he interviewed Drewski. I I, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. it was I like it was like they... gold. Like yeah. that video was gold. Yeah, Drewski know how to turn on around them races. <laughs> I love how he's number one and we like barely <laughs> talked about him. <laughs> yeah, because we kind of know. It's a kind of given. Oh, Real yeah. Talk. That's and what we I was just talked about him last week. Yeah, true. That's yeah, let's, try, let's, let's, let's try this one. This is Drewski, you said? Yeah, there was a Drewski Your brother one. brother who got a little bit of lizard on him, got a little, got a little nah. dragon. Dude, we just had a, a guy come in here and drop the N-word, man. We cannot be laughing about this shit right now. Oh, I don't think that shit's funny at all. <laughs> what I do is if I really need to get it out, I write it down. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I see what you're saying there. Okay, 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 okay. He gonna like toy around it a little bit. <clears throat> like he'll play in the arena. He's just funny. Yeah, yeah, I, like yeah I think he's funny. I think he should have been higher than five. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, nah. Nah, five so, is good. Yeah, nigga. How racist you want him to be? You want the <laughs> racist to be number one, right? You said. You want you the like, racist nigga you, to be number you, one. You like your racism strong. I right, do. Right I let my face. Not at one, though. Not, nah, not one. Drewski number one. Drewski I think Drewski, one. Drewski, Drewski yeah. got it. I think anybody that's upset with that hasn't really been keeping up with his mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. You want to know what we, what I personally really like about Drewski? What? The relatability. Mm-hmm. Like, he is able to relate to people from our culture in so many different ways and ser- scenarios and situations that we've probably been in. Like, literally, <laughs> like, recreating, like, the birthday dinner shit. Like, oh it, like we just, it's so fucking there. relatable. Like, you've been in the birthday dinner. Yeah. You're doing it for your girl. Mm-hmm. Damn, some nigga walk in. She start hugging on him. You pay for the dinner. Like, it's just like stuff, stuff like that. Stuff like, like that. Yeah, that's fly. I like it. And it's a skill to even like come up with like the idea to yo I'm gonna do a skit about this yeah and execute it like that. That's one thing I'll give these people that do this stuff online. Um, I salute the people that make skits. I don't know. I think I would be racking my brain all day mm-hmm. trying to figure out how to be effective in the way I want and in a funny ass mm-hmm. way. Like I see people getting on um, Desi Banks right now because he just recently did a skit with Future and Metro. Mm-hmm. Terrible. There you go, and that's what they're saying. It was horrible. And that's what they're saying. Yeah. It's like sometimes you gotta watch yourself back and say, nah. <laughs> but nah, you wasn't getting it. Like he was trying to it like wasn't. he was he was trying to be annoying on purpose. I think I, I think sometimes <laughs> yeah. you gotta do something for the masses to know who you are and like yeah. hey, this is how I got my awareness. But then you gotta pivot. You gotta like pivot before mm. it like pivots from for you. you. Mm. But do you give him mm. any points that he actually does stand up? Because no, is it stand up funny? Really? Yeah, no, his I, I funny. do. His crowd, his crowd interaction. I, I got stand up is, really is is very different. Very than different. Skits. Like, is it good stand up though? No, it's good. Okay, yeah, okay. It's good can I watch this? 
Oh, you, so you, 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 you can find some on YouTube. Just on YouTube, yeah. yeah. No, you might can find some on Tubi. And Zeus? <laughs> he being funny, yo. <laughs> hey, Desi, he making fun, yo. He being funny, yo. How do you guys feel about Country Wayne? Nah, he's funny. I love Country Wayne. Okay, okay, okay. I like him as a person. Like, in his oh interviews. My God. Damn. No, for real. But do you, do. Find, you don't find his content funny? Not really. But I, I I do think and when I because I I watched a ton of his interviews yeah for sure mm-hmm. I think as a person he's funny I think he had a, he's a, a great head he's on a funny shoulder. person like, yeah he's a funny person and yeah. I like what he stands for but yeah. his comedy yeah. uh, it wasn't it wasn't for me because I think recently he also um delved into stand up yeah. which I respect yeah and he's actually been yeah you're right I think he recently but he's been making good money from it too yeah mm-hmm. like yeah, when it comes to stand up he take care of his kids uh-huh. I respect the man that take care of his he kids. does mm-hmm. he does I remember when. Like, we were talking about Ke- Kevin Hart on a uh, previous episode. I remember Kevin Hart telling Drewski that he's scared to hop in the uh, comedy ring. Mm-hmm. You mean Drew- Drewski telling Kevin? No, no, no. Kevin telling Drewski. Okay. Have you, have you seen Drewski do, do stand-up yet? Nah. That's kind of what Kevin Hart was kind of, you know, asking him. Like, yo, you're right there. Oh, I remember that. Interview. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah like, yeah. You're, you're right there. You're the funniest on the internet right now. That's why I bring up a Desi Banks, right? Because Desi Banks gets real pissed <laughs> off when you compare him to Drewski. Well, maybe that's the pivot. Right? right, I'm talking about pivoting. Maybe yeah. that's the pivot. You, in my opinion, you were funny on the internet, and it seems I, I've I've never, never, not once laughed at anything that I've seen him do on the internet. Oh, Desi, I, I'll I'll say that. Yeah, can I say that? Yeah, I could say that. No, I've laughed, but this I do, bro. But, but, it, it was cringe. It was, and like, was how often guy. do we even get to see a future do Skate, anything? Yeah, especially in that it was, environment. It was cringe, man. It was cringe. I don't know. You need to. Hit, you you want to know who need to give up talking? <clears throat> Me? No, Bobby Altor. Yeah, yeah. I don't, she got to pack don't know, it up. No, because she how to like, No, no. In she my she. Well, I I agree that you wouldn't like it because I feel like you're not her audience anymore because she's doing a lot of like girly things. Oh, she's doing that. Now? Like she's she interviewed like she did like a video with like Ari Fletcher and like okay. Saweetie. It's very just like chill, girly, like mukbangs and stuff like that. Yeah. And they have been like going viral for like a different crowd. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen it on my timeline and stuff and I could fe- I could see why it doesn't appeal to like everybody, but they've been doing what like her videos have been doing well. I like her and Funny Marco together. I've seen they they've done some skits together. Like I think that kind of that works. Yeah, that like, probably really the works. Only one. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that kind of works. But Bobby has pivoted completely. Yeah, like she has. He said, "Fuck them niggas." <laughs> Literally, as she should have. No, nah, no, she shouldn't. Nigga, fuck out of it. Boozy not on there. And he should have been. Wow, yeah, that's, that's a, a great. That's a travesty. That's a, yeah, that's, that's a, a travesty. disservice to the internet. That is a disservice to the internet and to that list. Boozy is pound for pound. Oh my god, no, what um, Kevin funny. Gates. Gates is Gates is funny, but I think Boozy might edge him. <gasps> Boozy should be top five. Yeah, I think, I think Boozy it. edges him. He I might know. have to be top have five. Have you seen I I Boozy saw... go for like five, ten minutes straight? I've, I've seen. <laughs> I, I recently. I don't know why I was watching. This. I watched it. like a highlight reel of like Kevin Gates' best moments. Yeah, that man is. Oh, I think he should be like top see, three. See, Kevin Gates has best moments. Oh. Boozy could give you top moments in ten minutes straight yeah, yeah, yeah. from talking. Okay, I'm gonna go watch. Yeah, a go, video or go tap in with my boy Booze. He's crazy. I like that. He cool. Yeah, man. Yo, you guys are pod. Last man. question. What's up? Well, we're not last, but yeah. wherever we go from here. Um, <clears throat> nah, that's the last one. I, I know they they mentioned uh, Caleb Presley, but do you guys have an all time favorite white comedian? Nah. Yo, Alex. Alex? <laughs> you know, Alex, only likes, Alex only likes Karen. And that's I'm not gonna lie, nah, bro. No. You really like boxing us in. <laughs> yo, yo, he didn't. He didn't even like. You sound Tom crazy. Holland. Now I'm about to get serious. Yo, I fuck with Bill Burr, bro. Uh, this nigga's you, boxing, you took bro. my answer. Right. What the fuck you mean? I'm boxing us in. Why do you easy. take that so personal? What the Relax. fuck? Like, I'm not boxing nobody in, nigga. I know Bill Burr. He said okay. you're not diverse. Yeah, you trying to say I'm not diverse? So who else? You say it. No, I don't. Every time we talk about a white person on the pod, say, you, say, you say, yo, last week he was like, yo. Yo, what did I do to you? Last movie, no, for real. Nah, he was nah, like, what did I do to you? Because nah, just... everything I'm saying today is just, it's hitting you in yo, a different way. Last, what about last week? Last week, yo, last week he like, said, what's up, bro? Yo, last week he said, yo, you never cried before, right? A movie never made you cry before. I was like, nah, nigga, the equalizer. I be doing shit. Don't don't exclude Nobody me. Nobody cries from the equalizer. I did. You did it. I did. It, like, this conversation is ridiculous. I, it is. But I, I did. <laughs> so Bill Burr? Yes. He's the whitest, blackest nigga you could have thought of. That's my guy. I know. That's fuck with him. Oh my. He good. He white, no? He is. And his wife is black. He white, black. Nah, his, his wife, wife is black. Is black. Oh, his wife. He's oh shit! Wife, that's why I said that. Oh shit! I didn't even know that. Damn, I'm I didn't to even know that though. 
Yeah. He's dumb funny though, but yeah. I like that nigga. I'm trying to think who's my favorite Caucasian comedian. I don't know. Because sure. a lot of my favorite comedians are black. And then the other guy that I think of is he's Russell Peters and he's Indian. So <laughs> or, not, yeah. not white. No, that could fit. Well, yeah, non white. Or non black, I should say. Okay. I was about to say what? Non, non black. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy because the white comedians, they kill him right now. On oh, podcast. word. What, yeah. Andrew Schultz. Yeah, Schultz. yeah, but you just Schultz, said Schultz is oh, good. Wow. Schultz, Schultz is good. Schultz is one. Schultz For is sure. good. Schultz I feel like there's so five, many bro. that I'm just like forgetting right now. That's what I'm saying. Shane Gillis. I don't be I, knowing all the white niggas' but names. But you know what? Their comedy is a little bit different. I don't be knowing the niggas' names. You don't know Shane? Yo. Shane Gillis is killing If I see right the now. face. <laughs> you know Shane Gillis, bro. I'm looking up. I'm telling you. You've seen him before. Andrew Schultz. Nah, you know Schultz. Yeah. Bill Burr, like you said. Oh my God. Who's the guy that's always... He's like also kind of like in the school of like. Charlamagne the God, Andrew Schultz. He has a podcast oh, right now. Fuck. Chris, Chris, um, something. That's the final. <laughs> so you don't know their name? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Chris you, you know, yeah. Oh, shit, you know. Chris I find him funny. Nah, nah, Shane Gill is good. He in this show I'm watching right now, Tires on Netflix with Andrew Schultz. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he's good. I like him in that show. Gary Owen. He be cheating Ooh. and shit, right? He was just on, yeah. on Sharp, Shannon Sharp, Sharp yeah. Club Station. <gasps> Gary Owen. He want, he, he My favorite like Caucasian entertainer of all time is Larry David. Ooh, Shout out to Curry. Larry, 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 Larry up there. That's a good one, right? He's, like he's like gold level status. That's though, a like, good one. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I, like I don't that. even put him in this category. Like, he's just yeah. different. He's just yeah. different? Yeah. But nah. Seinfeld. Seinfeld, for sure. Nah. All these guys. A lot Long Island legend. Nah. Cool. What do you mean, nah? I don't like Seinfeld. is not for me. It's not my You You had to live through it. You had to. He was here. In fact, I'm nah, you ain't lived through it. I, I flipped right. I flipped right past that channel. That don't never appeal yeah, to me at all. To you. Have you watched Curb Your Enthusiasm, Pierre? Oh yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, you like it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout to JV Smooth. Yeah, big yeah, heavy on that. He be killing that shit. Too. Or you be like, what the fuck? Oh, oh Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know if Adam he does, I don't know if he does stand up, but I but would, he funny. Yeah, 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 Adam Sandler. We're talking about funny white men. Yeah, funny white guys. Jim Carrey. For sure. Yo, I've been brought him up too, yo. But when? I, not, earlier not today. today. Nah, bro. I did everything Here? I love. Yeah, everything I love. Here. Yeah. No, he didn't mention it once throughout like the episode. I forgot I where. Did. Yeah, brought it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, during the movie conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said he was so talented. You're right, you're right. Well, Come on. I'm with the whites. I yo, see Alex. Yo, Alex, I did something to you. Mm-hmm. No, did, I'm talking no? about the whites. I'm okay. just making sure you see I'm with them. Like I see what's going on. I just gotta be seeing the face sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know their name. You know who's really Killing it right now too, mm-hmm, and then yeah. we can get off of this. But he smoked the um, Kill Tony. Y'all familiar with Kill Tony? Got Google. No. Nope. Got Google. Got Google. I told you. you I don't know, know these names. I don't know names, anything. Yeah, I don't know these niggas' names. Yeah, nah, you I'm a music me. girl. I'm you not a, me. anything I'm else. I'm sorry. Kill Tony. I'm music and yeah. food. Yeah. <laughs> it's a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shato's a nigga. Wait, can you show me a picture? Facts. Yeah, I'll show you. Wait, his name is Kill Tony. The host. I think it's it's two of them. Right. I'm looking. Where do you know these cats from? Oh, 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 no, 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 He no, just no, did no. the Tom Brady role. Yes. Okay, I know the one on the top. Who is that man? <laughs> Y'all don't know who that is. Here. I know this one, though, because he on the show I watch on HBO. The, oh, right, the I righteous, recognize it. What's his the name? Righteous Gemstones. I don't know his name. <laughs> but, I, but I watched. But he's like mad it. famous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, the Righteous Gemstones on, on HBO I'm Max. You, I like all that. I know is Will Smith, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe. You. That's his name. Tony Hinchcliffe. Where? Yeah, kill time. Shout out to our Caucasian listeners, by the yeah, way. Yeah, salute to y'all, yo. <laughs> Please don't leave us. Yeah, salute, yo. We, we're and really here for you. Like, really here for yo, and put me on, yo. Oh, my gosh. I wonder <laughs> if we have any Asian women listeners. Please, mm. if you do. I know there's one because she sent me a t-shirt because she... The one where I had, like... The, yeah, yeah. But if there are any, please comment and let's form an alliance. <laughs> and all my Zos, all my Haitians. Why are you laughing <laughs> That's the way you said it. Let's form an alliance. I need all the Haitians in the chat too, because sometimes I be feeling like I'm alone. No, nah, there's a lot there's of souls that listen. There's Haitians, Pierre. There's a lot of souls that listen. I know. Oh. Trust me. Only Zoe, only Zoe that I know listen is Alex. And Reggie. And Reggie. I'm Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> this has been the Need to Know podcast. <laughs> yes. And the rest. And the rest. What you need to know, when you need to know on the Need to Know podcast, please hit our bio for. Take us to our mixer and also join our Twitter community. We're almost at 500. Hey. The 500th person, I will buy their ticket. I swear. Mm. Hey. Heard it here first. Heard it here first, man. It's the gang. Don't gaslight me again next week. <laughs> We're going to be hearing this for the next year. Right, you want to have another? You want to keep going? Don't gaslight me. Your Don Tom will put out a good I album, bro. 
<laughs> nah, you know what's crazy about the Don Tava album? You know that would make him I know stop. Don Cheadle, nigga. That's the you only Don, you know Don Tava. Nah, 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 I ain't doing that right now. What about Travis? Because I'm thinking, hit me out and we can end, right? Oh, oh. Oh, you serious? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were joking. I'm, I'm going to end on this right here. We like Don Tava, right? Yeah. I like the album, yeah. All right, cool. Don Tava is signed to Cactus. Cactus Jack is Travis Scott. Mm-hmm. We're aware. Travis we're abreast of that, right? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Do y'all think there's something to losing a little bit of your magic when you sign somebody that's really talented? It's been a Need to Know podcast. What you need to know, we need to know the Need to Know podcast. I only said that because I haven't enjoyed an album since Astro World, and I think Don Tolliver put out a better album than Utopia. I'm sorry for prolonging this and gaslighting anybody. I'm out of here, y'all. I love y'all. You think Don Tolliver is better than Travis Scott? That's what you said? No, I'm asking you. If th- mm-hmm. He's gaslighting me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we end there. That was fucking great. That was perfect. That was perfect.